Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here. Show number 2,597 here on Twitch. Going to be kicking things off with the FTL 101 run, run number 42, Crystal B, which we rolled yesterday. Uh, really awesome day of FTL yesterday. Let's uh, let's head on in and see where the game takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. Before we do get a couple of the final here in chat and your wonderful support, let's do it. Hey there, Kriya. What's up, Luna? Sherbinator, Anodyne. Hey there, Warhamster, Mikazu, Gastoff. What's up, Airborne Heart, Canaletto, 808. What's up, Mefo, Great Rain. Welcome back, Harry Fairy, Blaze McGee, Athros, Oily, Raincloud. Hey there, Matthias, Zephalon, and all the rest. Hey, before we get started here, Oily, Raincloud, thanks for 52 months. Sherbinator, 34. And Luna's Can, thank you so much for 2,200 bits. Very generous of you. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to consider that. Thank you for being here today. I'm going to grab the patron name list right now. Feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine, very red vessel. Run number 42. All right, we got beep. We got ear gear. Capital G. Right back down at the bottom of the list, Bunny Wild. Oh, some good suggestions here. Hmm. Let's see if we can mix them together and see if it fits. Yo-ho! Blood Orange works. Number 42. Alright, let's head on in. Uh, we'll talk about the ship here and FTL, of course. If you're new to FTL, it is the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space. Uh, the square right here represents one sector map. Uh, the lines within are the Rebel Fleet Pursuit, pushing us towards the exit um, and into the end of the game. Along our journey, we're going to collect this value right here, scrapped, upgrade our systems, subsystems, etc. Uh, the Crystal B is a four-man boarding ship, which starts with crystals. Crystals have a innate lockdown ability. In fact, I'm going to swap these guys real quick one sec. Bunny Wild's going to be the new pilot. So what they can do is this, which stops people from entering or leaving the room for the duration. You can see that also includes our crew. Uh, basically, you can board on top of a room and then lock it down to stop enemy crew from entering or leaving. Very powerful effect. Alright, we'll see here. I gotta kinda exit through this one right here, so a little bit of a, an oddity. See what happens. Gotta make it there first. Okay, we don't have a weapon yet, so I can't really deal with this. So we're going to use cloaking here to try to access. Didn't work. That's fine. Uh, Crystal crew can get in and uh, disable systems and get back in plenty of times. They take less oxygen deprivation damage. So in this fire, I'll just cloak and then we'll pull our crew back. This can be one reason to swap to Clone Bay on this ship, uh, so you can continue contending on these ships as well. But for the moment, we're just going to do that and then get away. Has to be ion bomb or fire bomb. I think ion bomb. Okay, well, ship we couldn't do. That's fine. Um, store. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the store here. We only have the crystal vengeance to sell, but that's plus 40 scrap right now. Trade that for long range scanners all day. All right, no long range scanner, no ability to buy a weapon yet, but we're plus 40 scrap for the store, which is nice.
Okay, we're not going to surrender. Boarding here and uh, locking down. Oh, interesting, he was trying to hit the crew there. That was uh, spicy. Okay, missile launcher went down first. Awesome. Let's just fight here then. Okay, they have Mantis and they have Humans. So I'm actually going to walk over to the shield room real quick. Okay. When we're both in here. I'm going to do the other lockdown. Now we have a two-on-one. Crystal of Vengeance is a 10% chance to fire a return projectile um, when the enemy hits you. So it's a pretty weak augmentation overall, but uh, it sells really well. It's actually one of the achievements on this ship uh, to kill a ship using the Crystal of Vengeance. All right, so we've got 62 scrap now. Probably just going to buy two shields here. The return projectile the Crystal Vengeance shoots out does pierce all shields, so it's like a guaranteed damage. Okay, not automated ship, that's nice. Uh, million dollar question. Can I lock down before they enter the room? I did, and that's very important to me, because this is nasty. So is this. Just a tough system overall. That's better. Alright, so I'm going to lock down again here, and then I'm going to cloak. Cool, we dodged the ion as well. Okay, this should go down any second. There it is. I'm just going to board him with my next crew as well, so we get a three-on-two. Finish this off fast. Okay, there's that. You guys need healed. You're the pilot. I'm kind of debating buying two piloting before going through these nebulas. Because losing a crew sucks right now. Um, let's take this one. We're going to go like this and then over. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Automated vessel. That's tough. Um, we're just going to go in here. Again, we don't have a weapon to kill off automated ships right now, so we'd have to swap to uh, clone base status in order to kill a ship like this, or find a weapon. Or sacrifice a crew, which I'm not going to do here. Yo, Timid Karma, thanks so much for 26 months. Appreciate you keeping it damper. Thank you. Worth noting that you can farm uh, training skill on these by punching down the systems. We're not going to do that here. We're good. Alright, here we go. So we're going to end on this jump going down. Intruders on board. That's a terrible place for you to board, guys. 
All right, we're just going to bend them down to the med bay by opening the doors here. We're going to go here. We're going to close off this door as well. So the oxygen is on this side of the ship. I will very quickly pull them in this way. Wow. They really did it. Good for them. Thought we had that one. Honestly, it has not been a very slamming uh, Sector 1, but we're doing okay here. And I can finally upgrade my ship. It's tempting not to, because we might see a store soon, which can have um, something that could change our trajectory here. Zolt and shield bypass, weapon, uh, so on and so forth. But I think just getting the second shield bubble makes a lot of sense. There we go. Not going to buy piloting here. I would risk the manually search the wreckage event. Okay, we're in the wrong places. That's tough. I got to cloak the first volley here. Okay, he's in the O2. Fine. Uh, I'm going to board here. Going to lock down. Oh, he made it in there? Dang it. Okay, I got to cloak this. And then uh, I'm going to run over here. Ouch, dude. For real? Okay, you got the O2 down as well. That's bad. Not great. I don't think there's enough time here. Aha, uh -huh, I could have done this. Well, tough. At least there was a fight, huh? Okay, that's down now. Good. Let's repair the O2. Buy fuel 21 scrap. All right. Wasn't the cleanest event, but it got the job done. to stabilize here too let's also uh have these crew live in the the teleporter room that's where they should be all right so how many jumps here four jumps actually three jumps no it's four um i think i'm gonna go one two three four down i'm gonna skip this nebula there's no bonus for getting the nebula since we're leaving from this one. Let's go over here and search for a store. We got some options. All right, O2 stabilized first, though. Yo, Psych7, thanks for 38 biggins. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you. Nearby sun. Okay, good. It's not. Not an automated vessel. That's great. Okay, we're gonna go here. The second my crew up here, I need to lock down. There's a crew in the engine room here, so if I don't do it right away, we're just not getting that lockdown done. Yo, they just keep coming. Racy, thanks so much for 30 months. Appreciate that a lot. I see we've got one of these as well. 
Okay, somebody's coming in the door right now. Just one crew. Oh, both of them are in there. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, um... It's not really safe to board with the third crew, but I think I need to. Okay, teleporter's on fire. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna take a shuttle back to our, our ship. Okay, we're gonna go to the med bay now. Actually, we're gonna leave uh, the highest health crew in the piloting so we can charge our FTL drive here. Okay, there's that. Alright, is much of this repair done before the solar flare goes off? Can. Okay, now that, that noise is incoming, we're out of here. Okay, they tried to shut down our engines, that's fine. Cool, we can just do a three-man board here. Yo, Racy, thanks so much for 30 months. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Alright, here we go. You know, uh, I was going to say this sector hasn't been very good, but if we actually look at what we've gotten here, we've bought two shields for 50, uh, we sold Crystal Vengeance for 40. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need some water here. Um, it's been okay for Scrap. Considering we had to skip two fights, it's actually been pretty good. We'll see what happens. What we haven't found that's kind of important is uh, another crew or a weapon to get past Zoltan shields and automated ships, but uh, we're within range. We haven't had any disasters. Investigate the battlefield. Okay, nothing. Ooh, there is a store right there. We're in range. Flak is definitely a start. Now, I still got to get the uh, 40 scrap to bring that online, but uh, it's a weapon that can strip Zoltan shields and hit automated vessels, so nice. Uh, Relic, we're about 3,300 hours at this point. Wish I could. Civilian sector uncharted. No, we're definitely going to go civvy here because that's where pirates live. All right, uh, interesting um, exit here. So we're going to try to hit a few jumps before this store before we come back would be the idea. Uh, I'm good. Aid the civilian ship. Here we go. All right, this one can damage us. I don't exactly know what type of crew they have going on. Okay, Ion Intruder could mess us up, but if it's going to be right there, it's going to be fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do one lockdown right now. Oh, okay, never mind. That's fine. This thing doesn't actually damage, so as long as it doesn't make our its way to our shields. I also hear the clicky clacky of a mantis hand on the outside door, so maybe good thing we did our lockdown when we did. Okay, they they made a fast retreat. I can I can respect that. 
Yo, Mag Lovin, thanks for 21 months. Much appreciation. Angel9001, thanks for 104 months. Thank you. Three, four, five. Uh, one option I do have is to skip the store to try to get more value out of this bottom section. Certainly, leaving through here would be ideal. Okay, one, two, this is three, this is four. Five, six... That actually works out really good. I'm going to go for the maximum scrap line here. Uh, frankly, I'm just not going to have enough to do good at the store. So I want to get my weapon online, and then I also want to get level 2 piloting. So I'm going to go 1, 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, and a half exit. Seven and a half. All right, here we go. Uncooked Pop Tart. Thanks for 11 ones in Marluxia. Thanks for 35. Teleporter. Boom. Map update. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right, so I might be cutting some jump out. We got a third store right here. Awesome. So we're going to do something like this. Uh, I need to get the weapon online and then hopefully save for this store. I don't know how this is going to work out, but... Um, I feel like if I cut this jump out, we're okay. One, two, this is three, three and a half, four and a half, five and a, this should be fine. I might end up diving at the exit here, but it's on a, it's on a nebula, so that's okay. Yo. We're going to fight the ship here. Awesome. Okay, mind control's tough. Okay, the ship can't damage us otherwise, though, so I'm going to go ahead and defend this and then teleport over. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and teleport over to the shield room. Okay, a man is entered first, so I'm going to go ahead and lock down. Well, actually, hold on. Their mind control could be very problematic here. Hmm. Uh, it's on a 20-second cooldown. This will do it. If I have to, I'm going to uh, be moving around their vessel. I'm glad I did what I did, though. Okay, now we're mind-controlled, so I'm just going to be moving around here. In fact, um... Am I locked down right now? No, not yet. Not yet. We are going to take some chip here, and that's fine. Here we go. We will definitely finish off this fight before the next mind control. Great. Three fuel, 22 scrap. Awesome. Uh, no question in my mind that I'm purchasing weapon control right now just so I have a weapon. It doesn't really matter what the weapon is, just that we can power one and fire it. Uh, we're going to attack the pirate. That is a really weak sauce bribe there. Okay, I only need one shield here. Let's go ahead and do this. 
I'm going to fire my flak at their weapons here. See if this goes down first. It should. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, just like everything else, Caster Broad, it is very situational in FTL. Though sometimes you do better on boarding ships for that reason. Not a guarantee. All of our double reward chances are running from us. That's weird. Almost like we're punching people to death or something. Here's to hoping. Okay, we did not lose a crew. That's what I care about. I also can't see where that breach is. I'll just fix that after the next jump. Hey, look at that. All right, this ship can't damage us, and we can uh, get our flak a rolling. I'm just going to go ahead and board over once with our crew here to uh, hit shields, gain some uh, fighting skill. Should be pretty close to max on them. Getting there. Crystal Crew being able to board automated ships is pretty awesome. Missiles for three parts. I'm going to take this trade. I'm not using missiles right now. I still make it. This is good. I want a nice double reward here on the unmarked beacon. No, quarantine level five. Mm, I wish I could afford hacking here, but it's not quite within range. That's all right. Ooh, burst laser one. All right, all right. I'm going to go ahead and buy this because it's a piece to the puzzle. Let's attack the ship. And you know we're just going to do this. Okay, we're locking down. Okay, this here phaser here, there's no click clack of manis, so this should be all right. Let me go ahead and try to hit shields here. Oh, there is a manis. Wow. see anything out of the ordinary there, uh, mean fella. You're all good. 
No sweat. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, now we're going to board into shields with this guy. And then, uh, go here. Looking good. Five fuel, 20 scrap. Cool, man. How much is it to bring these online? Only 60 scrap to have access to the burst laser one. That's pretty cool. Rightfully be holding out on that for a moment, but still. Oh, there's that, uh, <laughs> there's that breach. Let's fix that in the doors. I have no idea on that one, mean fellow. If you hit a if you hit a block term, it um it just doesn't appear at all. I only have a few emotes blocked, and I also have the word hate blocked because it cuts down on complaints about the game I'm playing uh, a lot. Again, you're all good. That'd be my best guess. Um, let's board over here. God, I need more water today. Lots more water. No, I have not played the multiverse mod yet. I probably will some try it out at some point, but we're currently doing the FTL 101, which is taking precedent. Nice, Rhinefield. Sounds like a good night, man. Healing burst. Okay. Well, that could that could be something. Uh, Death Lord, there's definitely an argument for that, uh, to use Burst Laser instead of Flak, but it really, at this point, the ships we're facing aren't able to damage us, so that higher efficiency doesn't really matter. Okay, like on this one, I'm definitely going to go over here, and I will swap to the Burst Laser now. Uh, definitely boarding weapons. Let's do this right here. Okay, cloaking. Please don't hit my teleporter. Thank you. Okay, I still have time to disable shields a bit here. Now. All right, so I'm going to wait for this to repair before I fire here, because I'm worried that I'm going to fire my weapon and the missile launcher is going to come back online right away, which is definitely a fair concern. Okay, laser came online first. Okay, let's go ahead and... Ooh, 
man, that is a tough one. I kind of like pirate controlled here. Well, it is less stores. It's a much higher chance to get crew, which is something that has not happened on this run. Yeah, let's go pirate controlled here. I'd, al I'd almost always go engine controlled, but we have all the things we need. I just want crew for boarding so we can man our systems and stuff. Seems fair. Huh. Does this connect to the exit? It does. Is this over the halfway point? It's another good question. One, two, three? I don't know about that. Let's we'll see. We'll be able to tell after this jump, I think. Yeah, if there's nobody on your ship... In fact, we have a command for this. Let's see. Uh, what is it? Shuttle? There you go. That's the one. Attack the ship. Alright, this, uh, this has clone bay... I'm going to let them board real fast. And after they board, I'm going here. Locking down. First priority is to take out their weapons. Okay, we're going to do second lockdown now. Oh, it's still hit, you son of a gun. It's in the med bay. Let's go. Oh, they have two. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Right, we're going to give these guys a little rigmarole here real quick. Yep, generally just trying to get the most jumps, Berserker Mike. That's that's the, the ticket. Okay, so now I'm going to actually roll up here real fast. Um, and we're going to go into the shield room. It's an unfortunate position for that guy. Okay, well, now that that's happened... We're going to leave the high health crew in the shield room. We're going to roll these other crystals over to the clone bay. So now the crew that gets cloned is going to go directly to the shield room to defend. Provided that doesn't happen. Wow, halberd beam. All right, all right. Halberd beam is good enough with this current setup to win the game. Flak burst laser one halberd can do it. Would require a little hacking help, but uh, nice weapon drop. Yo, Berserker Mike, thanks for 13 months. Much appreciation, dude. Dragon, thanks for keeping it dapper as well. Thank you. Okay, I think this is over the line. Fair enough. Hoping store is not down here. Intruders on board. Okay, they're indoors. They're indoors. All right, how many crew? It's only three, so I'm going to open every door except for the O2. Except for Med Bay, excuse me. And then we're going to fight in there. It's low enough now. Oh, this door's still open. Holy crap. So the enemy crew will go towards the nearest source of oxygen, which in this case is going to be the med bay. There's no other spot. The easiest way to defend against boarding, if you have as many crew as your med bay holds, you just go to the med bay and vent the rest of the ship. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty safe. All right, we need to let our O2 stabilize before I jump here. Let's not get silly now. 
Well, I'd like to have 80 scrapped by hacking from the store, because I think that'd be um, a late game piece. But I also want to get this extra weapon online so I can have flak and burst laser. I don't necessarily need that till sector three, though. Let's let's delay our gratification for just a little bit longer and try to get more out of this sector. So I'm going to go over here, and then I'm going to go through the exit and back down, because we're going to leave on this jump. This is the one. We're getting a full two extra jumps, basically, from diving here, which is going to be mega worth. We could have three engines and the weapons online by the time we dive. That'd be uh, very adequate. Um, you know what? Sure. If we get hacking this run, that will certainly be useful. Okay, we will never surrender the Schlavers. And by God, is that... Is that a Vulcan, sir? Okay. It's gonna board his three here. Just gonna cloak here too to uh, reduce charge time. Not that it matters on this fight, just uh, is a good idea. Hell yeah! What's up, Bars? Let's get Bars a new name here. Finally got a crew. Uh, Bars is gonna be the pilot as well, so now we can board with triple crystals. It's beautiful. Alright, Bars is Psyduck. Very cool. Um, I do want to have this scrap for the store. It's a fact. How much do I care about getting the exit here? I probably should start looking at how many jumps I have left. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 jumps remaining. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's not even close. This is a case of... Um, this is 10, 9, 8, let's say 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I do need to take another jump here and get everything. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Still one off. Wow. There is a lot of meat left in this sector. So this could have been one of our stores. We know these weren't. This could also be a store, which I would not go to. But otherwise, we should be getting a store this sector. Is there an argument to go down first? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. We get information this way, too. So that's it. Okay, we'll go this way. Store, please. All right, it's an automated ship. Uh, we're going to move one of these guys out. So we're going to board into weapons. Actually, is Beep the untrained? Who's Who needs training here? I'll move you out and me back in. Oh no, I did that. Okay, that was not awesome. I meant to board his two. Well, he'll still put in some work at least. Huh. Alright, I'm just going to take this slow and steady. We're in a bit of a power deficit at this moment. In the second firing of this, I'm going to cloak. Okay, that's good. Cloaking, so we can see it lining up. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull this crew back, and then I'm going to board him with the other crew. Boarding with two crew there would have very easily taken down the halberd beam. But right now, we could, we could get hit here, for sure. Okay, we didn't. That's nice. I do know on this next set of borders that we're going to get this down before it fires again. Which means I can now swap over to Burst Laser. Bit of a bungle, but no punish. Okay, feeling better already. Nice, breaching the weapons too. That means there is no more action for their weapons. They can't repair them at all. Nice. Alright, 19 scrap a do. Love to see it. So I'm holding on to way more scrap than I should right now, because I'm hoping for a store which has decent stuff in it. Let's find out if this is the one. Alright, there's hacking. That's what I wanted. Alright, so I'm gonna buy hacking now. Uh, yep. We're gonna sell the heal bomb. I'm going to buy a repair to 23, and my next goal is to get the flak online with the burst laser. But before we do that, I can just see that we're very behind on power, huh? So, let's grab two power bars right now. Okay. This weapon system is good enough to beat the game, yeah. So we're not we're not in a struggle for weapons now. Still got a lot of stuff we got to buy before that's actually a powered in-game system, but yeah, our pressure to find a weapon system has been um, alleviated. Which, on a ship that starts with no weapons, is a very nice spot to be in Sector 3. I mean, okay, okay. This weapon system is problematic. Okay, Air Gear is going to lock down here. Okay, that's better. That's all we needed. I can actually go and board with the next crew now. Oh, they're both trying to get in here. I see, I see. So, it's literally just a two-crew ship. Surprising. So enemy AI will always prioritize their shield room, so if you put crew in the shield, they will choose to fight there. So you get down med bay and clone bay in a lot of situations without using hacking parts. Right on. Liked that event. Okay, I have enough to bring Flak online now, so I'm probably going to do that, because having five projectiles at this point in the game with hacking lets us uh, disable select systems, mostly weapons. Oh, hey, all three of you guys go in here. You're the pilot now, man. Yeah, we have barely enough to power the weapons and hacking. 
Uh, it doesn't give us enough for cloaking, which is really weird. All right, let's make sure our pathing is correct here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I'm kind of holding out hope for a store back here, but um, feels like delaying might be a bad idea on upgrades. Oh, Pulsar, yuck. All right, so um, on this one, I'm going to board into weapons. Okay, there's an engineer in there. I'm actually a little bit scared of their weapons system. I think rightfully so. I swap these crew, we're going to win this one. We're going to win this fight, too, because we have crew training. Just debating uh, my best option. I think hacking weapons here actually makes a lot of sense. In fact, would let us leave the room if we want to. Another layer of safety. There's that. Okay, so now we're going to swap these crew out. And, uh, how much health? 46? Alright. Okay. Um, am I cloaking this? No, I'm gonna wait for this. I think this is still gonna fire, man. Yeah, that's the one right there. 75. 75 didn't dodge it? Okay. Yo, breach missiles. Those sell for 32. So that was a little bit painful. It was definitely worth it. It's going to be a second here. So note, if you don't have any weapons on this ship and the weapon system becomes damaged, you should not repair it because it stops it from taking damage to fires and things. So that goes for any, any ship that doesn't have weapons. If your weapon system goes down while you don't have weapons, there's no point in repairing. In fact, there's a negative point to repairing. Let's wait for our ion damage to be clear, then we're going to jump out of here. Okay, we're clear. Uh, yeah, but like, that's just the number that's worked well for me. That's all it really boils down to. Hey, store back here. Okay, I knew, knew waiting was good. Okay, mind control. Their weapon system's actually, like, pretty legit here. Um, let's go ahead and board right away. Mm, I'm gonna run back and defend. I'll cloak here. Okay, they got NG, and they have... Mantis and gotta get to 60% here. That's fair. Let's swap these crew real fast. They will not have time to fire the burst laser again. Yo, what's up, Debbie? How you doing? Alright, let's get Debbie uh, a new name here. Debbie is going to be Mr. Pebble. Mr. Pebble is going to be on our engines. I might board with the Zoltan sometimes, but not usually.
Okay. Definitely dive time. Alright, this ship, under the best of circumstances, could damage us. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. Then we're going to board into the shield room. They're going to fight in the shield room. So we're going to put this guy and this guy over there. Okay, rock and human. Fair enough. Rock's got a lot of HP for us to worry about. Yeah, that's a good description of why we heal the 23 as well, because of the um, events that re that heal you. I just found, I used to repair to 20, but I found that 23 was safer. You always want to leave room for uh, event repair. You need your position saved. All right, here we go. Probably just buying engines and then weapons here after the store. Okay, that is pretty nasty. I don't know exactly where their crew are gonna stand here, but I do know that I need to board into the weapons room. Okay, one guy in the Med base not ideal. We do have room to move around though, so let's go ahead and lock down. Two on one versus the man is here. I'm gonna go to shield room. Okay, they're boarding, droning our doors. Bear. I'm gonna open the doors here, and I'm actually going to uh, do this. Close this one off. Uh, I'm gonna roll him over here now. And we're punching that down. Let's go here. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, we're going to lock down again before this guy goes to the med bay. That's our job. This guy has lockdown left. There it is. Go. Good. Med base down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fire beam. Okay. Okay. Fire beam uh, is a little bit redundant here. All right. So we're going to do a little trick on this one. Uh, I'm going to run. I was going to run my crew through, but let's run our crew into this room here. Get them all back at once. Okay, you leave the room here as well. We're closing the doors off. Everything's A-OK -okay, number one. Good, we can still have access to our store as well. Some nice weaponage here, but not necessary. I think heal the ship's a, a fine phrase. Reinfeld, nothing wrong with that. Most important thing about communication is that we understand each other. The details, not so important. So, like, fire beam can be real fun, and it is good for getting crew kills, but when we have four-man boarding it really becomes a redundancy. I could hold on to it. Let's see what our upgrades look like. I might not sell it here. 
What's up, Fatal Hobo? I kind of tempted to put the Zoltan in piloting right now and put the, uh, the rock into the teleporter. Yep, fire can hit your own crew as well, so it's a little anti-boarding. Strong, though. It's very strong. Okay, well, let's start by repairing to 23 again. Let us... Buy two weapons. I'm going to buy two power. I'm going to buy this and this as well. Okay. So now we have Flak Burst Laser hacking three engines and cloaking active. No, Crystal Crew do not have fire immunity. You know what, I just don't think there is a place for me to use the fire beam in this build. I was trying to imagine a situation where I'd use the fire beam and it's just, it's non-existent right now. Alright, I'm gonna go for, um, four engines here. Okay. Yikes. Okay, um, so I'm going to go into four engines, I'm going to teleport into weapons right away, I'm going to lock down immediately. I'd like to cloak this, not this. We'll see what happens with the punching here. Okay, missile launcher went down, so I can cloak the other now. I'm going to lock down before they get back in. Let's see if we get a dodge here. Nah. I take it back. I probably should have saved my cloak for the ASB. That's fair. Okay, it missed anyways. That is awesome. Thank you, game. Good. Alright, well, they're going to get out before the next ASB, so I can just come back now. Let's drop the power here to get our O2 back. Very nice. NG Homeworlds or Slug Home Nebula. I guess it's NG Homeworlds, so I do not have an engineer for the prerequisite quest. NG Homeworlds, though, man. Slug home could be decent. There's actually several good opportunities for crew gets inside of the Slug Nebula. Just thinking without an engineer, we're missing the virus event, the pry the ships apart event, we're missing the NG homeworld event. A lot of miss. Slug Home Nebula is going to have some nasty cloaking ships and stuff, and some ships that are difficult to board as well, but we get the Slocknog event. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go Slug Home Nebula Sector 4 here. If I had an engineer, 100% slam dunk on that bottom route. But we didn't. Okay, nice exit on this sector. I think Slug Home Sector 4 is kind of a sweet spot where the slugs are still rather underpowered uh, and there's some very weak ship layouts. Start getting into Slug Sector 6 and 7, you're looking at some very powerful cloaking ships, which can also exist here, but um, not in the same way. All right, the ship can barely damage us. Here we go. 
So we're going to lock down with Beep here. Uh, the goal being to take down the clone bait before the fighting even starts. There we go. That's what they got, huh? Slug and a human. It's tough. Ooh, wow. That's true, Shadow Guy. There are some decent chances to get NGs inside of the NG sector, but it is so much better if you already have an engineer. Still hankering for a few more crew. All right, so this is a ship type that um, you can take out the O2 and get the kill, but instead we're going to go on their ship. We're going to go here, and then we're going to put two crew on weapons. Then we'll board over here after the fact. Very nice. You gonna get this down in time? Okay, we're good. A uh, tr fully trained uh, mantis is generally preferred over rock. Uh, rock boarding you usually do when you have uh, some sort of fire strategy. Uh, it's true, rocks have a lot more HP. Uh, mantis just hit a lot harder, and finishing the fight faster means there's less time for the enemy to fire their weapons, which is the biggest benefit you can get. Hole Smasher Laser Mark II? Okay. It's actually a very decent weapon. Probably getting sold, but we'll see. Gotta make sure I'm leaving myself enough room here. I want to go to the exit from over here, I think. So we're going to go up, and then we're going to go down, and then over. How many jumps is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So very true there, Harmic. We've had a lot of weapon rewards here. We go 1, 2, 3, 4 here as well. Yeah, we kind of have to cut through this way if we want these two jumps, though. So let's take let's take this one. A lot of times in the slug uh, nebula... Getting closer, what's wrong, guys? Pay the debt. Ouch. One store is going to be inside a nebula, and the other store is going to be inside non-nebula. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Anki Kong, that is a mod called Rebel Fleet Pursuit Indicator. There's actually quite a few variations of it. There's ones that have numbers on it, uh, one with just lines, and a few others. Let's get a few jumps before this store. Okay, our O2 just got cut. Unfortunately for them, I have a lot of time here. Um...
am not worried about dying to O2. Okay, so we're going to uh, just continue. I'm going to load up Flak and Burst Laser. They can't damage us. They got Fire Beam and Shenanigan. Okay, well, here we go. Going to let one more crew enter this room. All right. And then we're going to lock it down. Oh, we got two crew in the room. That's fair. If my first volley misses here, I will definitely pack so the next one hits. Looks like we're good, though. They have level three clone bay. Oh, man. Get a grip. Level three, though? Yes, it's all good. I'm gonna take this jump before the store too. Probably selling one of our weapons at the store to trade for something else. All right, on this one, it's a Manus fighter. I'm just gonna board in right away, and then when the crew enters the room, yeah, it's just engineer. Let's get one Manus in here too. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna lock it down. Okay, both Manus got in. That's tough. Not the end of the world. What's going to happen here is one of the crew is going to try to run to the med bay when the lockdown's off. It's going to be the engineer, right? Okay, he's trying to go to the med bay. Now we're going to lock down again. And we're going to swap these crew's positions. Oh my god, I don't want to die here. Too close. Too close. Hey, Lizard Rogue, thanks for four wonderful months. Vlades1212, thanks for two months too. Sorry for not seeing that sooner, Vlades. Appreciate ya. To the store. All right, backup battery looks all right. This is all really good stuff, man. I would prefer the Heavy Laser 2 over the weapons I have, but I don't prefer Heavy Laser 2 at the cost of having to sell and repurchase weapons. Black Burst Laser 1 Heavy Laser 2 is a game winner. Oh, what's the charge time on hole 2? 15. Just flak heavy too right now is also like real slamming. All right. I'm gonna buy backup battery. I'm gonna repair to 23. I should sell either the halberd or the hole laser. I think halberd beam with a triple lockdown boarding strap probably has more effectiveness. Also, hard to argue the pinpoint precision of hole laser, too. I'm going to use the restroom real fast and refill my water. I'm going to think on the store for a moment um, while I do that. Be right back.
All right, we're back. Fresh cup of coffee, fresh water. Feeling good. Still don't know what we're doing at the store, though. You know what? I'm going to drop the halberd beam here. Uh, halberd beam is probably more powerful than whole laser 2, but... The problem with it is that when you're doing a boarding strat on any fight other than the flagship, you want pinpoint precision, not sweeping damage. Let's take our 107 scrap right now and just purchase three shields. I will still make that. Ooh, are we getting into a weird spot here? One, two, three, four, five, six. With four nebulas. Yeah. We're not going to make this jump if we do that. Is there an alternate route I can take here? I feel like there is. Okay, here it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, here. Exit. That's the path. Might even still get a dive at the back end of this. Ion Intruder Drone, that's awesome. That sells for 30 at this upcoming store. Thank you, game. Hmm. I guess we'll check it for long-range scanners. There's really not much to buy here, though. Maybe a couple of fuel. Another heavy laser, too. Wow. Well, Ion Intruder's out of here. I'm going to buy the fuel at the store. I'm going to call that good. Hmm. Now we're gonna go one, two, three here. I think we still make this exit. Pretty sure. Yeah, I love heavy laser too. It's an awesome weapon. It's just not. It's not worth bringing online right now compared to the other things we have to buy. All right, on this one, the slug light cruiser could damage us barely. Uh, just going to go ahead and board into weapons. We're going to lock down right away. I'm, in fact, going to do a double lockdown here. Double lockdown is going to make sure they do not hit us. I said I was going to, and now I'm not, because <laughs> this is the only thing that was helping them out. Oh, yeah, okay. That pulled them off. Very interesting. Yeah, that's a great way to look at it, Old Man Yells at Cloud, that we're very far ahead on weapons either way. I think a very easy trap to fall into playing FTL is uh, over-upgrading weapons. You see weapons that look really good, but if you already have a weapon system that's capable, it's usually better to invest in a little defense on your ship, I feel. Okay, so if I take both these, I'm diving on that, no question. So I think I should go here, here, and then take the Distress, and then dive. No, it's here and then here. We're good. Hey, the civilian ship. Okay, they do have Clone Bay here. They also have Hacking. Hacking is the only four-man room I can board into. Okay, we're going to lock down one crew here. Ooh, okay, we're going to lock down two crew here. A little unfortunate. Hmm, 
do I want to hack? No, I don't really want to. Will I? Maybe. Okay, they hit our cloaking with that. Yikes. Let's do this. Okay, Clone Bay going down is very good. There we go, we got him. What's up, civvies? Could they ran away again. That is four events in a row where the secondary reward ran away from us. I get it. Yo, Randazi, thanks for 17 months, and my pleasure if you see Amphit SF around, he handles all of the uploads to YouTube. Uh, glad we have that immense archive. Oh, Big Bear Cruise. Thanks for 37. Three years and climbing. All right, we'll see if this, that this next jump here, then we'll make a decision. Okay, there's that. We are diving here, and dive's not too bad because we're in a, a nebula. So we don't have to worry about the ASB. Alright, one more power bar at least. All right, definitely not excited about their current weapon system. It's okay, though. Uh, we're going to board here. And I am going to just start locking down and punching this weapon system like mad. In fact, I'm going to throw out a hacking part onto weapons, too. And I think my next upgrade is going to be level 2 hacking. Lock it down. Okay, missile launcher's down, so we're all good now. We have an additional lockdown available here. Um, we'll see. What I can do is I can roll over to the shield room. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got an idea. I was hoping to hit them there. That was better. We got the, uh, the HP difference sorted out. Good. Not too bad. So for leaving Sector 4, we already have three shields. We have Cloaking, Hacking, and Crew Teleporter. So our systems are sorted out, feeling pretty decent. From stores, we're basically looking at augmentations and directly now, probably one more engine and then getting the whole Laser 2 uh, into the system. Once the whole Laser 2 comes online, our hacking is more effective. Uh, rightfully, should probably buy level 2 hack right now. On a fight like this, that would have been pretty helpful. All right, I'm going to go Civvy Sector for sure. Hmm, okay. So, the Sector layout is very odd. Because... After going back here, there's no real way 
back to that side. Like, if I go over to this side, we have to double back on this jump. Well, let's just take a few jumps here, and then we'll decide on our pathing, huh? Looks to me like we might do something like this. It's a weirdin'. Hey, you too, Dapper Brock. Hope you have a nice one, dude. What's good? Hey, I can board their ship, man. I can do that. Okay, we gotta capture the ship intact. I agree. Do not destroy the ship. I think this one does 20 hull damage or 15 hull damage. A pretty gnarly event if you mess it up. Alright, nope, nope. I'm just gonna buy the fuel. I'm gonna buy a small repair. Okay, how many jumps? Three, six, nine jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, that's perfect. We're going to get all the white jumps here. I'm just going to skip the nebula. One, one, two. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exits. That's a different event, mean fellow. There is a couple like that. So there's uh, there's the Zoltan life raft, which I think is the event you got. Uh, and there's no downside to killing the ship. On this one with the words not in caps, it damages your ship greatly if you destroy the ship. There's a couple events that they ask you not to kill a ship. This one's the very dangerous one. I'm just going to board in first here. Lock it down. We punching. Probably should have just let them in the room. All right, well, I'm cloaking. 90% chance. That'll do it. Sounds like a uh, mantis. Indeed. I'm just going to go ahead and board him with the Zoltan. And let's put the high health crystal on this guy. Oh, should note on that Zoltan uh, life raft one. Uh, sometimes if you if you turn down the 40 scrap, you say I'm not going to pay you. He joins your crew for free. <laughs> because he has nowhere else to go. Uh, New York Yanks, uh, the... I'm just going to verbalize this. Uh, when looking when to take a nebula, uh, I look at the last jump I'm going to take and see if it's more than halfway past the pursuit line. If the answer is yes, then we often take the nebula. But in this case, taking the nebula does not improve the amount of jumps we're going to get in the sector. Hey, glad you can be here, Mortachine. Yep, there you can look at the wiki for the event text. There's actually a event mod as well that gives you the um, results and odds on the events as you find them. It's a pretty cool mod. Good for learning the various events. Okay, we're attacking the pirate. Okay, we're going to board his four here. Uh, I'm boarding his four because... I want to kill this ship off as quickly as possible. Guess I can say that for every ship, but especially this one right now. What's up, settlement? See, this one can't run away from us because it was a settlement. No getting uh, denied our double reward here. Oh, 
Okay, quest and a store. Uh, nice. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make sure that's right. It's correct. One, two, three, four. Looks good. Gonna save my money for this store, though I'm almost certainly gonna get weapons next. Okay, three lasers, but combat two. So combat two is not a jokey piece of equipment. You don't want to mess with it. However, if we get this drone down, then we're 100% safe. Let's do that. Okay, feeling better already. We're also going to be trying to break into this room from the clone bay. So we're going to get some extra bonus damage. Ah, four crew. All right, it's going to swap these two now. You're winning that, right? Yep. Got him. Kind of excited for this quest. It might be good. I'm not using that mod Fatal Hobo, and I definitely have the blue option for Lanius on the hijack satellite. Would not be surprised if something like that exists, though. I know for sure there's one that gives the event text, um, or the event odds on screen when you find the events. And we're going to attack the pirate. All right, so... We have a pretty nasty weapon system. I'm going to board into weapons first. All right, and my, my goal here... Ooh, it's a rock in that room, too. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take beep and I'm going to lock this down. Try this first. Ooh, it's not happening. Okay. Well, is that four rocks? Okay. I'm gonna hack piloting here. I need to hit weapons. Bottom line. Okay, there's that. I think what I'm actually gonna do is teleport out. Come back in. Alright, so we did that. Okay, we did not get the weapons fully down, but enough. Enough. Okay, that's another crew dead. Mm. Don't think we're winning these fights here. Okay, they're all four in the same room. We're gonna pull them back. I could have left the one set of crew on there, but it seemed dangerous. Let's open this up. Okay, hacking went down. That's too bad. Still looking okay. Oh, fire got in there. Yikes. 
Let's try this real quick. I'm gonna do a very similar play to what we did last time. There's fire in the doors too? Jeez, man. Okay, this is down for right now. Do I go and repair my hacking or... Oh, do I stick in here? This is tough. Oh, the fire spread. That is difficult. Okay, we got that one down in time. I'm going to open the doors here to vent. I'm going to go repair right now. It's fine. Close off this door. Do this. Okay, I lost a another... Shield here. That was my bad. Okay, well, at least our next one can hit. Get back here now. All right. That's fine. Double fire or single fire? Single fire. Alright, I'm gonna do it like basically the exact same play here. Gonna lock down with beep again. This time I'm not gonna miss my my second hit though. Okay, fine. Turned out to be a really difficult event. God bless. Okay, I got cloaking back up. I'm gonna keep the weapons locked down here, huh? Wow. So these type ships are the toughest on four-man boarding because everything's separated into two crew segments. Destroy and salvage, man. I could have handled that better for sure, but it was a tough one. Yo, Natlas Nepis, thank you so much for three wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks a lot for that. Cheers, Infamous. Good luck with your runs, dude. Okay, quest, then store, then we're going to spend. Uh, level 2 oxygen usually gets purchased before the flagship fight, because if you get level 302 hacked, which is what the flagship has, you want level 202 to recover. But really before then, it's a, a luxury purchase, I would say. Okay. Very unlikely this ship damages us. Very unlikely. Oh boy. Water's good. I don't know how many crew are on here. Let's check it out. Four? Four. All right, let's board is four then, so that we get all four crew off piloting. I'm gonna let two enter and then lock down. Swapping to clone bay hit. Nice.
Okay. Chain Burst Laser is something that we could power, though we'll probably sell it at this upcoming store for something else. All right, 302 scrap. Awesome. Long range scanners. Okay, it's a little bit late for long range scanners, but never too late. Still got a few sectors left. Cool. Alright, uh, we got a lot of stuff I want to buy, though it's only Sector 5, so we're feeling okay. I think first things I'd like to do is get sorted on my power. Um, I really like to bring weapons online, so it's 125 to get the chain laser online. Uh, quite a bit more for uh, hole 2. I'm going to hold on to hole 2 for now, because I'd rather have it over the chain laser, but um, hole laser means we can only fit a one power weapon on the end. Uh, since we're a little ahead on scrap, I can afford to do that. Let's do that, and this. And... Eh. 40 for the engine, huh? Level 2 backup battery sounds nice. I'd like one more engine power for that, so we don't have a wasted power. Well, let's go for a five engine right now. Alright, there is a ship in here. Could be worth taking. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Yes, except I'll be a less incompetent captain, maybe. Then the rock and bam. Reverse ion field. Pretty nice defensive augmentation. I'm going to buy level 2 backup battery now. Awesome. Intervene and defend the outpost. Okay. Double beam, four power and weapons. I think I just go for a pilot hack here. Looks good. Yo, Rav Ross, thanks for two months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper, partner. Thank you. I personally think for pause play, it's not really worth ever trading Clone Bay for Med Bay, or some very specific situations it might be worth it, but... Um, that'd be more of a normal mode purchase for me. I don't actually agree with the statement either that Clone Bay makes boarding safer. Because with Med Bay you can get full crew training, and that kills ships faster, which I think actually makes boarding safer. Uh, now, anytime you have Med Bay, you are at risk of losing your crew if you let their health run out. But fighting skill is not to be underestimated um, when you have four-man boarding especially. Uh, no thanks. I got 20 hacking parts. Wow. I guess my point with uh, buying Clone Bay when you already have Med Bay is that you're paying for something that you already have, which is the ability to heal your crew.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and purchase up level two hacking here. Go straight for the quest here. Okay, uh, you find a severely damaged ship floating among some debris. The crew hails you. I can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us. I thought we'd freeze to death. If you help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew. Okay. Kirkner, nice dude. Uh, Kirkner can hang out in weapons. You know, maybe we'll hang out here for right now. Search for the ship. Okay, stasis pod. Um, we're gonna take the weapon. Ion charger. Okay, that's a sellable piece of equipment. Okay, heavy laser one is the one here. So we're gonna sell charge ion. Whole laser two. Gonna purchase heavy laser one. We're gonna get the weapon power, and we officially have a weapon system. Cool. I'm not sure if diving here is like all that good. Not really ready to double dive. Let's go one, two, three, four. Probably five exit. I could always do this too, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm diving this sector. I think we're just going to go for the quest and uh, round it out. The exit's in kind of an unfortunate position, but we don't need to have a slamming sector here to be uh, where we need to be. I accept surrender. Okay, nearby sun, I can deal with it. Yo, cold leftovers, thanks for 23 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks, man. Quest time. Yo, you find the station that ordered your cargo. You drop it off and they respond, ignoring the facts as days late. We really appreciate you delivered our materials. Realize how dangerous the sector is these days. Take this as payment. 31 scrap and a piece of equipment that sells for 37. Very nice. Okay, this one's Pulsar. Pulsars are dangerous. Okay, if I drop the power from here, I need two power bars right now to have hacking powered and backup battery going into engines. Here we go. Okay, Pulsar here is, like, super nasty. Now, we do have the Reverse Ion Field, which could completely save us from this event. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be um, rough. Yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna hack weapons and I'm gonna board into shields. I'm gonna let them in the room. Okay, yeah, look at that. Three NGs and a human. Hacking down, cloaking up. Yikes. Okay, he got out, which is really unfortunate for me. Very good, very good. Okay, we now have no shields versus the drone here. Well, it is unfortunate that guy got away, but he's going to come back in the shield and we're going to lock him in again. All right. Cool. And look at that repair and that fully trained engineer. Man, that is some good stuff. A little bit of a painful event, but could have been way worse. Okay, we are free of ion damage right now, so let's, uh, let's jump away. Ooh! Okay. We'll gladly take a store here. Could take a second reverse ion field to be pretty much completely safe uh, from ion damage. Not totally, but about 75% chance to not take ion damage each time. Not a bad, not a bad trade. Let's get three repair. Let's go ahead and get a couple fuel here. All right, what are we buying now? Sector six, so I'd like to just get up to four shields, I think. going to save for four shields. Dock here. Okay, damage to the hull. Those jerks. Alright, so I'm going to board um, into their drones, trying to pull their crew over, which is going to work. And then I'm going to hack weapons to delay this from firing. Lockdown time. Nice. Exactly, Burn. If your hold is full and you find other stuff, you have to choose to throw something out. You do get a choice of what you do.
Oh, snap. Rock Homeworld's here. So if we find the Crystal Beacon... That's cool. Actually, maybe in Sector 7 you can't do the Rock event, or the Crystal event. I don't remember. going to be some interesting boarding ships here, I'm sure on that. All right, we're going to start by going into weapons here. We're just going to lock it down right away. I think I should actually send a hack out on weapons, too. We got enough. Spies us time. There we go. Looking good. Swap these crew. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick up four shields right now and a power bar. Cool. Next up's three hacking. Just keep taking the fights here. Yeah, I think we can also do the, uh, the event here. I don't remember exactly, but I think it is possible. All right, let's begin by killing off these crew. We're going to do a secondary boarding set here. Uh, I'm also going to hack their engines now. Um, let's run into doors real fast to delay them getting to this room. Okay, now I need to cloak. Good. Okay, they went back. They do have med bay too. All good. Should be it. Oh, snap, they repaired the med bay, okay. Okay, they're leaving now. Uh, stealth 2 would normally be what I would call a value purchase, so you're trying to get upgrades. So before the flagship fight is sometimes when you buy Cloaking 2, but it, once you have a weapon system, if you're disabling weapons on your first volley, the need for Cloaking 2 is much less. Yo, Sidley, thanks for 111 months. Quite the show of support, man. Thank you. It's 
a cool number, dude. So I'm pretty sure the Crystal Homeworld event is a non-marked beacon. But we have no guarantee of getting to that. So I'm just going to take the fights here and then we'll cut back this way. And if we get the Crystal Homeworld beacon way back here, that'd be awesome. If not, that's also fine. Um, okay. It's really unlikely I'll be able to finish this quest. Give it a try, though. Okay, we got to the quest right away. So if this... Our goal for this one is actually to let them run away from us. That is the main goal. So I'm just going to hack their weapons and hope for the best. Don't want to kill him or anything here, just want to let him get away, which will happen very quickly, because we're in Sector 7. I see they didn't want their weapons hacked. I get it. Let's see how our dodge does here. Not good. Hmm... Okay, fine. Jump imminent. Do it. Do it. Don't delay your FTL, my man. Don't do that. Everything's fine. You guys are doing great. Okay, jump imminent. That's better. Okay, they got away. Oh, no. Okay, at this quest marker, there's going to be a full repair and rock hole plating after we defeat the ship there. I think I'm actually just going to go for the quest right now, after this one. Because if we end up getting the Crystal Homeworld Beacon back here, then we miss out on the quest turn in. I don't want that. So I'm going to go one, two, probably three, four, five, and some, something like that. All right. Flak Burst Laser 2. Cloaking. Burst Laser 3, rather. Okay, they boarded in cloaking. I'm going to go ahead and cut the O2 here. I think I can just vent them. We'll see. Hoping they don't get our cloaking down. Okay, they also have clone bay. Let's board into weapons and do the lockdown thing. Nice, we got them. down. This. Please tell me there's enough time here. Okay, we're good. Didn't, didn't go down. Okay, only flak remains. That's fine. Are they going to teleport back to their ship? They should. Not too shabby. Okay, are they trying to repair their clone bay right now? What? Now they're not. Had to be fire or something in there.
Oh, that was a very spicy event. Oh, hey, okay, there's not a fight there. Wow! Okay. Guess I'm just going to take the string of ship fights here. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll fish a little bit. Just a little bit for the... Crystal Homeworld quest. It'd be awesome to get another crystal sector. The odds on getting the beacon's not bad right here. I'll skip the sun. Let's check this out. Okay, nothing there. Um, let's do now option one here. That's a guaranteed fight. They don't like that when you tell them that. Okay, we're locking down. That's a tough one, man. I think they're gonna get my piloting down here. My bad. I think I can only go med bay now. Alright, we're gonna try to save our last lockdown here for the remaining crew. Of course, that came back online. I'm gonna lock down again. I'm gonna go ahead and fire into the med bay. Good. No med bay on, they're not escaping. Yo, Eon 234, thanks for 43 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Four fuel, 66 scrap sounds great. Let's go ahead and buy a uh, level three hack now. Alright, everybody, we've been streaming for about two and a half hours now. Uh, I'm going to take that same break. I take around the same time every single broadcast. Just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and grab a very quick snack. My breakfast, in fact. Uh, please do enjoy any kitties that may appear on the screen during our brief intermission. I'll return momentarily to continue this Crystal B run into Sector 7 and beyond. Do have a few small chances of getting the Crystal Homeworld uh, Sector again. So I guess we'll see how that goes here in just a moment. 
Anyways, be right back.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Head back into our run here. Alright, what do we have going on? No cloaking happening. Let's just board in and lock down. Here we go. I'm gonna cloak. Are we getting this down in time is the real question here. Honestly, at 18 hacking parts, I really should just be going for it. Truth. Okay, I'd actually like a crystal crew member in the corner here, alternating shots. That's best. We can swap them back here in a minute. We can see he picks a random target, which cleans up the margins on the crystals fighting. And now we can swap back. We're good. Awesome. Great reward there. I guess this is it. It's our last chance for the crystal homeworld. I'm going to go for it, too.
All right, uh, the ship does not look very dangerous. Should respect it though. In fact, let's go for a weapon hack here too. Gonna make sure it goes down. Uh, let's lock down one more time. Just gonna go for a med bay hit. Cool. That'll do it. Very nice boarding reward. Awesome. Okay. So I think I might go for a little aggressive play here and go one, two, dive over here and then dive again. Because if one of these jumps is the Crystal Homeworld, uh, we're in a very good spot. We get a whole other sector after that. Seems like our best play. And really going to the store right now can have some of the last things we'd want to get. Okay. Hmm. Fire beams out. I feel like I should sell the rock hole plating, but uh, what am I going to buy directly for that? I can't think of what. Let's go ahead and get uh, two engines here. I'm going to buy three power bars. Great. Come on, Crystal Homeworlds. Nope, okay. Well, I am going to dive back here just for a one last chance at it. With seven engines cloaking and three hacking, no... No big sweat here. We're just going to slap down a level 3 weapons hack and defeat their counter borders. Ooh, do we not do we not make it there in time? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well. They did that. Yo, Earl0815. Thanks for 5 months, dude. Appreciate that. We're getting out before the ASB fires. Awesome. Okay, it's an asteroid field ship. Uh, I might as well. It's not going to be the Crystal Homeworlds, but still something. Intruders on board. Where at? Huh. Go ahead and do this. Get these crew here. This crew here. That's nice. Okay, that went down. That's good. Is the fire out, though? Yes. Swap these. A 
Looking great. Who has the most HP? This guy. Cool, man. Yo, Radox41, thanks for 11 months. One more for that year. Thank you. Defend. Gonna hack after this fires. All right, next sector to the last day. Very cool. Here we are. We made it. Let's buy value 02, value cloaking. go here and then here because it gives us more time our biggest goal on any of these ship fights is just not to take any hull damage that's the big one okay or shields a lot of shield Alright, so if I hack uh, piloting here, I flack a burst laser, that's one damage, two, three, I can do five damage to weapons. Uh, five damage is exactly enough to disable this. That's the ticket. Figure that out, just added up the weapons around the uh, missile launcher, and then if we do one more than that, the missile launcher is guaranteed not to fire. scrap a do. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take this jump too, because we can. What do I want to spend scrap on right now? I think a value point and weapons could be very good. I'd also like to get this and this, though. Let's spend after this next jump, see how much scrap we get. Yeah, okay. So on this one, I can just board shields. Could be good. Okay, drone's not coming out. That's good. I'm gonna do lockdown here. I'm going to level three weapons hack. Buy ourselves even more time. Oh, they got one of those. That's right.
So you do have system repair. I'm seeing that come in for the weapons. All right, easy lockdown, easy life. Got him. All right, well, here we are. Uh, I'm going to jump right into him now so we can jump into the base there. I'm going to buy level two piloting. I'm going to buy value weapons and level two doors as well. Now, I do very much plan on boarding uh, this ship, at least on phase one, to hit shields uh, and then pepper them down. Not really going for crew kills per se, just it's an effective way to get shields down for us. Nobody being on weapons is a little funky, but it's the crew that we have. We only got six. Okay, well, here we go. Phase one begins. I wonder what ship we're going to get next. Okay, where's their hack land? Important note. Okay, hacking landing on O2 is the exact reason we bought level 202, because I got a level 3 hack here. Uh, and if we don't have 202 and the hack ends, um, it's very bad for us. You know what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to hack their cloaking, actually. Let's begin by going here. Uh, we're going to lock down right away so nobody else enters the room. I'm going to take it back here. I'm going to hack this. Quite amazing, in fact. Okay, I need level 202 on right now. Here. All right, those are down now. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to pull back here. Let's chain in here. They're probably going to repair their um, cloaking pretty soon. Great. Maybe not, though. I think we'll do similar for uh, phase two here. We do want to fight phase two at the base, so we're meeting that right now. Let's go for value sensors. I don't see why we don't do a shield board again. Phase 3 is going to be a lot different here. All I can say about that. Okay, we can get double crew kill here. Not bad, not bad. In the room. Um. 
All right, let's do this. Cheesy, cheesy rice. Double destruction. This is looking good. All right, I'm just going to sack the med bay here. I don't want to, but frankly, I think it's the best choice. Watch this. As soon as they enter the room here, I'm going to fire out. And then as I'm letting my volley go, I'm going to teleport my crew back. Almost killed him. Got him. 155, 79. Let's try here. Batteries down two. Fair enough. Nothing left to buy here. It's just phase three. So phase three, we're not going to be boarding because they have that Zoltan super shield. So we're going to try to place our crew into rooms that can afford to take a damage. I also like the engineer on weapons here. So we'll do something like this. And see what happens. Uh, a very likely thing to happen here is we're going to leave the fight and jump back to our base. This is why we fought them at the base phase two, so we can jump in and then have a safe jump back. That's the key, key strategy on phase two, to make sure you leave yourself an out on phase three in case something goes very wrong, as it often does. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to punch them all the way into the, the room here. They have a lot less crew than I thought they were going to. That was nice. As soon as he's passed over, I want to reduce the duration on my cloak so I can hopefully have it back up in time. All right, now we're going to be going for a shield hack. Should be good. Mind control is going to run out any second now. And we're going to go here. Our value point and weapons coming in clutch already. Fire in there is pretty good. Hmm. Okay, our cloak's not back up, unfortunately. Okay, our cloak's not coming back up. Do I commit or do I reset? Commit or reset? You know, with double fire going in the weapons, I'm actually going to reset this. I'm going to jump back to the base. We're going to take the crew that boarded with us. Those crew are dead permanently. So there's only going to be one crew which will not board us um, at the end of this here.
get our ship back to tip top, and then we'll do the same thing, only having to deal with the mind control this time, which is a lot easier. Uh, medbay is three slot, but you could technically overcrowd it to seven on this ship with correct micro. Let's demonstrate that real quick before we take off here. Oh, didn't quite get the repair done. So if we had three crew in the med bay here, which is max, and then we had three crew in this room, um, we could buffer this out by sending one crew here, these two crew here, and then when the crew are on top of each other, we select them all and send them to the teleporter. And then we send them back here, back and forth. That's how you overcrowd your med bay. Separate out our crew now. And we wait. There's only one crew, so no boarding, but there'll still be level 3 mind control. Okay, that's fine. Mind control NG is less concern. Obviously, I don't want to lose weapons here, but I can tank it up a little bit. Uh, the NG does get very much improved combat from having the, the mind control going, but it's not like, <laughs> it's not ridiculous. Let's still tank it up. Okay, we got that down. Nice. Oh, that spreading's tough. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of that then. Okay, good. Fire's a little troublesome, but I think we're in the clear now. Okay, it's only level one mind control, uh, which is fine. He's not going to get anywhere on the engines. Very nice. Should go for piloting now. Oh, yeah. G, G. That definitely calls for some damper time. Very nice crystal bee run.
GG. What a great run. If you want to throw some guesses for score there. Oh, I think we were like 6k-ish there. We did have long-range scanners. We got quite a bit of fights, but uh, it wasn't like a crazy uh, scoring run or anything. I'm just going to say 5900 is my guess. I don't think it was that spectacular. Fifty six thirteen. I knew it was low. What made it low here? Forty six ships defeated. 105 beacons for only 1,772 scrap clubs. That's a little low. It's a little low. All right, let's go back to the hangar here. Uh, we're going to roll three ships right now to see what run number 43 will be. Kestrel B... Zoltan A, Zoltan B. Probably do Zoltan A out of those choices. Kestrel B is probably best. Let's do, uh, let's do a Zoltan A run. Run number... Four. 44. Is that right? Are we on 44 or 43? 43. All right, feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine vessel. Um, grab some names for our crew here off the patron list, starting with Robotic Crow. That for not. And Devoro. Mm, some good suggestions here. Go ahead and go, um, Neon Line. We'll com combine a couple there. Thank you all for your creativity. Okay, well, here we go. Um, Zoltan A. So Zoltan A starts with Halberd Beam, Shield, and Zoltan Shielding. So pretty nice start. Where Zoltan runs into problems is... Uh, when you need to get past this weapon set up, when you start running into two, three shield ships and you haven't found weapons, you have some big problems. All in all, though, the ship is very powerful, and you can fire the halberd beam before the enemy ships fire, so, or uh, before they get through your Zoltan shield, unless they have some sort of dronage. Might as well take these other two nebulas then. I'm gonna go here and then up and then over. All right, let's go ahead and hail them. Uh, no thanks. Enemy FTL charging, yikes. Um, I might need to swap to the Lado here. We'll see, we'll see. This one can definitely strip our shields and give us fits, so gotta be careful here. 
Small bomb or bigger bomb? Okay, enemy FTL delayed is good. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta go this way again. Where's the hat gonna land? Piloting? That's fine. That's fine. Attempt to follow and help them. Darn, didn't get him. Okay, well... I don't know what we get at the store. So do we double back here? Or do we just go for it? Maybe sell Lado for long-range scanners? I don't know. Yeah, that's a thing. Alright, there's a lot of stuff I would have liked at this store. It just wasn't meant to be as many Sector 1 stores are. Alright, here we are. Is this Pulsar? Uh-oh. This is actually very scary. I may end up putting all three Zoltans into the... ...weapons room here shortly. Enemy FTL delayed. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Let's... ...not accept surrender. I'm debating if I want to load the Lado up now. I guess we'll see. No. Hopefully this doesn't go down. I don't know what else is going to take off, though. Apparently not that. Yeah, that's too bad. Event worked out okay. Could have been a lot worse. My feeling right now is that this one is not past the halfway point, so diving for only one extra jump doesn't make too much sense. Three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to go back here. No dive. Hmm. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, I have to go here. Another one where the Lado might make sense, depending on what happens. Oh, it's an Ion Pulse again? Okay. Okay, well, this is better then. Four fuel, seven missiles, eight scrap. That is not a bad offer. I'm going to take that one. That's a lot of stuff. Mm 
Carefully cut the ship out. Nice medium scrap reward. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a bit of a yikes. Gonna fight the ship, though. So we want this in the very end, so we get an extra pip of damage. Alright, so I can keep my shield online by putting two people into the shield room versus this ion, but... Even better would be just getting a good damage volley out. Guess we'll see. Please not weapons. Okay, right into weapons then. I got you. Just roll over here real quick. Okay, so our shields are now overcharged, so they can't get it. Um, is this going to be effective enough? Probably not. The flat goes down first. That'd be awesome. Okay, sweet. Okay, if we get one more Lado hit in here, that guarantees that we can get a kill with the next Halper Beam set. Should be efficient. Uh, I need a four hit here, so that's this. No thanks. Honestly, pretty tough ship so far for Zoltan uh, A. Weapon power, power bar, certainly not bad. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Definitely a lot safer. Okay. Board scout of the fleet is going to try to run from us. That's fine. Okay, our Lado missile does not work here, but if we get our halberd beam off, they will no longer be trying to run away. Lado could be good after the halberd beam too, depending. Hell yeah. Good dodges. Okay, defense is down. I don't need Delato right now, so I'm not going to. Okay, I'm going to sell six drone parts for 24 scrap here. Cool. Let's go Mantis controlled. Okay, I'd love to see a store right now, though three engines and power would be really nice and we can afford it. Dude, I just sold all my drone parts, man. Man. 
All right, we got one, two, three here. That's the play. All right, this ship's trying to get away, but they will also die in one halberd beam, so I think we're good. Okay. So maybe we're going one, two, three, four. Uh, seems good to me. Let's check it out. Well, there's LRS. I think we're buying LRS. Backup battery, also a temptation, but if I'm going to have enough to get something at the store, I need to not purchase that right now. Long range scanners, early sector two, uh, bodes well for getting a good run going. Get a lot more ship fights this way, get ahead on scrap. We did not have a great Sector 1, however, so it's going to be interesting. Alright, I think they're boarding into sensors. That's cool. Give the old Venteroni. Um, hold on. Hold on. So, if I let this ship get away and we go to the next one, we can get a guaranteed weapon. In order for this to happen, though, I'd have to depower the halberd beam. Um, let's give it a try. Yeah, go back, repair your stuff, get out of here, man. We'll also try to run away again on the next beacon, but we get a weapon offer if we, we don't. Why would you do that, man? Here's the thing, dude. I'm trying to let you run. I'm trying here. I'm doing, doing my best to let you run. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, looks like maybe not. Hmm. Just go into your piloting. You're like a millisecond away. You can do it. I believe in you. All right. Oh, well, that one wasn't meant to be. We still get the scrap reward for the fight, which may actually be to our benefit going to the store here. Attack the rebels. So if we take down the shield with the first hit, we don't need to fire the Lado, and if we don't, then I'll fire the Lado into weapons. Okay. Or it'll just happen like that, even better. What you doing there, Humanitis?
Steal the civvy supplies, darn it. Was not the stuff. Scrap, please. Demand a surrender of their goods. That indeed will have scrap. Alright, so on this one, if we damage four systems, uh, they will no longer be trying to run. So we're actually going to go weapons through shielding. Or like this. Other way. I'm going to go ahead and fire a Lado out at shields here too, just to make this cleaner. Or not. That'll do it. All right, they're going in the med bay. What's up? Heavy ion. All right, heavy ion cells. Okay. Gotta find this store, though. Man, that's three fights we can take right now. Hmm. Could try to delay to the next store, but... Getting hacking right now would be very good. Not it. Okay, actual weapons. I like it. Alright, we're going to sell Heavy Ion here. I'm going to buy Burst Laser 1. I'm going to buy 6 Fuel. I'm going to buy Weapon Power when I can afford it. And then I really need to get into Engines and more Shielding too. Not been a very scrap heavy run so far. Okay, cool. A ship that can't hit us. That is awesome. Could have also kept Heavy Ion Burst Laser for the moment, but uh, I don't see Heavy Ion putting in a lot of work on this run. More shield value points. Incredible. Hey, thank you, T-Pixel. Alright, double reward. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and just get this going on so I can have the Burst Laser 1 Halberd beam going. And now we're going to go into uh, Engine, Shield, so on and so forth. Okay, great. Asteroid Field, a uh, little scary. A little scary. Should be fine here, though. Okay, what kind of drone do they have? Beam. It's nasty. Okay, got that down. Good. Okay, uh-oh. Thank you for not uh, railing my shields there. Okay, that's down now as well. Perfect.
Aid the civilian ship. Boy, I'm a little worried about this run right now. At least we got this burst laser, but it's like... A little weird spot. Yo! Welcome aboard! Awesome. Okay, this is like really good right now because not having the Zoltan locked into the piloting room frees up the power uh, associated with the unit. So we're essentially getting an extra power bar with uh, that crew pickup. Right now I need that. Alright, we've got MGC or Machine Gun Contra. Alright, um, as much as I'd like to buy hacking here soon, it's not going to happen. I need to buy actual upgrades. Let's go for two engines power bar. I will give you the requested five missiles. Six hull points repaired. Was hoping for a scrap reward, but that's fine too. Let's continue the Manus Controlled route. Manus Controlled has those crew teleporters, which we're temporarily protected against, and it generally means they have a weaker composition for having crew teleporter. That certainly is a weapon setup. Can they hit us first volley here? Not if we dodge. Alright, this is that same ship that's trying to get away and has a weapon reward at the end, but with their setup, I can't really afford to let them run. Can't do it. I'm going to wait a second here and see what happens. Hmm. Nah, they're trying to finish this repair. Maybe the shield guy will go back to piloting, but I doubt it. We're going to hold out a little bit of hope here. Seems very unlikely right now that that's going to happen. All right, yeah, that's it. No more. This is definitely a worthy dive. We can get strong enough to do it. All right, I'm going to go into three engines right now, and then I'm going to start saving for hacking or our next weapon. And now I can drop O2 to have three engines. Better chance to keep our Zoltan shield active for slightly longer. All right, free stuff. Love it. Okay, don't want to take a empty sun beacon inside Manus places because it's just going to be a uh, a boarding event with no scrap attached to it. That's a guarantee with long range scanners inside Mantis. Okay, we're going to open everything except for this and this. See you in the med bay in a moment, guys.
Good NJ Oni. Nice to see you, dude. Aid the civilian ship. Alright, this ship has two shields. Our first two shielder. Very much hoping I hit with both my lasers here. That's the dream. Okay, we missed. That's fine. Missile launcher's down. I can live with it. Okay, they have an engineer in there. <laughs> Big time. Now, if both our lasers hit on the next one, we are getting a kill. That'll do it. Two, four, six, seven. So let's get a quick four hit here. Okay, they ran away. Can't blame them there. Yeah, maybe. Continue saving. I really, really should be buying shielding right now. Attack the ship. All right, three laser beams seen. Great. Yo, Wiki Wiki man, thanks for 28 months. Thank you. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to this jump. So I gotta take at least this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yo, Wiki Wiki, thanks for 28 once again in Baker's Dodge. Thanks for that very generous five gift sub package. Thank you, man. Two fuel for five missiles. No. I think there's going to be a store back here. I got a feeling. Let's actually go here first to see if there is a store. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Dive. All right, this ship has a very powerful setup. Got to be wary of it. May even be swapping to Leto on this. Yeah, there's that. It's gone. Okay, I needed both those to hit. Yeah, all right. We can connect on the next volley here, though. Should be okay-ish. Please hit. Okay, it did not. This will take down the laser, at least temporarily. Alright, you can drop power here. We'll run over. Now, if one laser hits, we're in the green.
Should have taken this jump first. I said I was going to, then I didn't. Okay, you got one more jump in here? Maybe. Still gonna take this one next. Alright, enemy FTL charging. They do have a somewhat scary setup too. Uh, if we miss with both lasers on the first volley, that could be a problem. We good, though. Yeah, there is a store back there. Okay, good. Good. Okay, Combat 2 is not joking around. Mercy, mercy. Not weapons. Okay, good. I really should be spinning right now, but I gotta know what's here. I gotta know. Still in range of hacking if I take two shields right now, though. Hmm. Yeah, with an asteroid field coming up as well, I'm gonna take two shields right now. Not gonna buy the other power, I'm just gonna take that. Whoa, we're going to attack the scum here, but whoa, they've got a setup. I think I'm going to be swapping back to Lado Missile after this. Okay, yeah, we got to hit weapons on that first, though. Okay, there's that. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, the laser remains up. I'm going to swap to Lado Missile now. We'll go to two shields. Good. I'm going to say Surrender is not an option here. This gets a guaranteed high scrap reward, and that is exactly what I want. I can get a four room hit here as well, just like this. We good. 30 scrap of doom. Okay, yeah, I could have got one more jump out of this sector, apparently. Yeah, beam drone's gonna splice us here pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and Lado into their weapons. Thank you. Okay, our weapons got hit. We had the value point, though. Uh-oh. That's a spaghetti moment. 
Um, please get hit by an asteroid. Thank you. Whew, too close. Repair that. Um, do I wait for burst laser? Yeah. get hit there? I did. All right, 133 scrap store. What do we got? We got flak one, okay. Really don't want to buy a weapon right here, but we now have flak burst laser lado as a possibility. This is um adequate. And I'm gonna straight up buy three power bars right now. Boom boom boom. Okay. I can work with this. We can also do Flak Halberd Beam, which is a strong setup, but for going into this upcoming dive, I'm pretty sure we want this. Not bad. Okay, that's nice. Okay, shielding getting hits out here is actually really nasty. I'm gonna drop my O2 to try to repair this. Please hit. Okay, it's still there. Not... Not piloting. Okay, good. Okay, shielding again. Well, we're getting out before this fires. I'm gonna leave the room, actually. And we're off. Pirate controlled. this breach too. Hey Anaji, what's good? Thank you, Iceland. Better lucky than good as I always say. So we're in an okay spot for Sector 4. I would not call this run going well. It's it's adequate right now. Wow. Dread Pirate Tuco not playing. Now we're gonna need a little luck here on dodges and in our weapon hits too. Okay, that's good, that's good. Sensor hack is definitely okay. <laughs> okay, that's down, good. Okay, okay. It's all right. All 
That's fine. Nope, I'm good, Dread Pirate Tuco. I'm good. Yo, Izcraft, thanks for five months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you, thank you. Well, that was about as scary of a setup as you're going to see in Sector 4. Okay, we're not surrendering here. Hey, this ship is also a training opportunity. That's amazing. I'm going to do that because getting extra dodge and shield training and stuff is like super cool here. All right, I'm just going to refill my water real fast. I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, we have returned. Oh, yeah, we're doing great on training here, actually. Fantastic. The ship's actually very strong defensively. That's six power and drones they got. Six. It's not including if they also have, like, a system repair or something. I'm going to take a peek with the Manus once my pilot training's finished. I think taking a moment here to train could actually be a reason we win or lose this run, so I'm going to do it. Run's not going awesome. We've had worse, though, that's for sure. Basically, the reason this run feels underpowered is we've had to spend most of the scrap that we've had on buying these weapons. We're 115 scrap into buying weapons right now. Uh, so we don't have the engines or shielding. That Oh, hey, I muted myself there. Thank you. Fatal Hobo. 
I was just saying, the reason we're so far behind on this run is that we've had to spend all of our extra scrap on these weapons so far. Though, if we can recover defensively, we have the offense now. Uh, basically, for ships running away, McQueeb, good question. Uh, if It'll either happen at the start of the event or at a certain damage threshold. So, they will never start running away due to time. They must meet the other parameter first. Uh, generally, ships with the word scout in them are trying to run from the start of the fight, and then uh, other ships decide to run at a surrender point, basically. If I did miss you there, is craft. Thanks for five months. I think I got you before the break, but just in case, you know, just in case. Ooh, that's also a very fair point. If you have no fuel, all ships you face will be trying to run. Very true. Yo, nice, Darius. Congrats on that Tainted Keeper victory. Big accomplishments. Hit with two there, so definitely flak halberds it. Uh, no, Andural. Uh, both both the bubbles going down. That's two pips of shield training each time they fire. You can actually see here that the shield training happens when the shield bubble is removed, even before the charge happens. It's all about how many bubbles get removed for training. All right, we're very close on everything. Feels really nice. Ooh, eight with all three. Wild. Get there, he got there. All right, let's try this real quick. We can also eventually hit the drones like this, so it's a possibility. That'll do. Surrender's not an option. I really need scrap right now. Uh, Anti-stud, can you um, clarify what you mean by sliced and what your cooking method is? If you're just doing them like a baking pan, you can uh, 
You can add a little water if they're getting too dry on you. Yo, Idolize DT, thanks for 83 months. Appreciate that. Okay. I think I'm just going to follow the scrap line here. What am I buying next? Four engines power? Repair would be freaking great, too. Take these two, though. Doesn't have to be, like, a lot of water. Uh, Anti-stud just... Um, if you add some to the pan, it gives them a little more steam. So they get more cooked, but... If you think they're under it all, you can just cook them for longer. That uh, seems like a very simple suggestion, but pretty hard to actually overcook a potato. All right, we should have this. Good, good. Surrender is not an option. Give me scrap again. Lots of people coming in and saying they're missing stuff or missed stuff today, which is fine. Uh, I will just point you guys to the YouTube as well, since we have a full archive of all of our content for almost the past seven years. So if you're ever missing a particular segment or something, you can always go back there and watch it as an option. Okay, listen here, Daisy Blazy. I can just tell you're out of control by the way you're moving. This cat is very spicy right now. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Cool. Oh, you're going to be a cutie kitty then. Okay. Well, that's something you can do. Is there a cat up there? Uh-oh. Hey. Okay, there's not. Good. Hi. Okay, that is certainly a move a baby kitty could do. Good on ya. There's one unrelenting cat, let me tell ya. Um, doesn't three shields sound pretty cool right now? One sixty-five to bring Halbert online with Flak Burst Laser. I think we gotta go for three shields before that, and maybe I'll just grab three shields now. I don't know. If there's a store soon, I would regret that purchase, I think. I'm gonna reject your offer. So we could Ishi. Thanks for 65 months. Thank you. Energetic apathy. Thanks for 37 months, three years, and climbing. My dude. Enemy FTL delayed. 
Uh, no. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. Oh, scrap the debris. I can't afford to lose a crew right now. Okay. You can do two of these nebulas. Well, I can do that one. I'm actually going to buy level two piloting right now, because if this is the manually search the wreckage event, I need it to work out. Um, hmm. Okay. There it is, piloting. Boom, Nazia, what's happening? Very nice to see a crew here. Uh, I'm also going to do a new name for Nazia. That name's going to be Defamatory. Ofus, oh, thanks so much for that very generous $5 donation, man. Appreciate that. Troy Salmon, thanks for a five gift sub package as well. Thank you. Amazing. You're all too damn kind, really. I think I go here. If I'm going to end up diving. Oh, wait. If I'm going to dive, I want to take this. That's tough. What if... Instead of doing that, we go over here. Then swing back up this way. Got four jumps to the exit. Three and a half if I do this. So if I go here, then one, two, three. Or even one, two, three. I can make it back here. I'm going to take this jump. Also, at this moment, I can get Halberd Beam online, which is kind of tempting. Black Burst Laser Halberd Beam is a really monster opener. It'd pretty much only be complicated by a ship that had a beam drone or another way to strip our Zoltan shield. Okay, um... Hmm. I'm gonna take this jump. Okay, with two fights coming up, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this. This is definitely a risk not buying three shields, but our opening volley just got way stronger. Way stronger. Uh, Troy, if you're in the red, you can definitely worry. I mean, I'm always worried about our hull. We want to be at 23 or above, but uh, I'd say generally losing hull isn't that much of a concern in FTL. Seems a little counterintuitive, but like 15's fine. Uh, most of the events that are going to kill you in FTL are going to do it all at once. That is a nice offer, but dull reward, man. Fourteen and destroy the ship and salvage it. Nice. Okay. To oversimplify it a little bit, um, anything below anything below five hole is very scary, and anything above ten is usually fine.
Hail them. Uh, yes. I will accept that trade. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know if I should dive here, but I think I'm going to regardless. Nope. No store. No fight showing either. Hmm. Let's see what the next sector is. Man is controlled or slug home nebula. I could definitely see a dive-style ship messing us up pretty bad right here. Two extra jumps, though. Two extra jumps is important right now. Do distress first. Okay, carefully cut the ship out. Awesome. Easy scrap, easy life. That's been both our distresses so far, has both been the beam. All right, I'm going to go ahead and purchase four engines. All right, so for the dive, this is a lot safer. All right, not, not exactly ideal, but... Should be all right. Probably eating this at least once. Hopefully just once. Okay. okay it's also an Artemis missile. Okay, not in shields. So that's good. Okay, we're out of here. That went pretty good. Um, certainly man is controlled here. Yep, that's exactly it, Marlex here. More chance to keep the Zoltan shield online with more engines. Though we are behind on defense right now. We do have a seven power weapon system, so... Uh, I would say our chances are fair here, though I would not say with any confidence that we're going to win this run. Well said, ZS3000. I would like, I would actually very much want to pick up hacking here, but past that, we could just focus on shields and other defense and probably be okay. Pulsar, don't want to deal with it. Okay, well, here we go. Okay. I think we're good versus this ship. <laughs> Here it is again. So this is the third time I've gotten this event. Let's go see if they have an engineer on this one. Okay, they are going to jump. Awesome. After them. At the end of this quest marker, there is going to be a weapon associated with this fight. They're going to offer one on the kill, and then we can also kill them and get a weapon too. Um, anyways, we have a weapon uh, to look forward to later in the sector.
What quest was that? Was that the Manus War Camp? I just clicked past that too fast. I'm gonna go here just to peek it for stores. Anybody catch what that text was? Uh, we're gonna jettison the pod, because I don't want to die. Lead to destination. Thank you. Okay, I can get up to three jumps before the store. I think our best chance to have 80 scrap is to take this one first, and maybe go two, three, and then down. Something like that. Actually, looking at this map now, in order for us to get maximum value from the sector, I need to exit from the top here. No, this is fine, too. Three. Four. Five, six. Yeah, I need to go... Uh... go back up here too we got oh that does not connect the way you want it to uh mean fellow that is a mantis sector uh event so that runaway event happens only in mantis controlled sectors Four, five, six, seven. Huh. Okay, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go one, two, three. No, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exit. That's it. That's the one. Took me longer than it should have to figure out, but we got there. We got there. Let's attempt to download. Ooh, map update. Does this change anything? Yeah. All right, we're going to go one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to have to do it. I want to hit these two stores for a chance of getting hacking. If I can load hacking onto this setup, our first volley becomes much, much, much more efficient. Yeah, that uh, guaranteed weapon one will always be that ship layout. That's correct. There's probably an indicator in the text pop-up when the ship fight starts, too, but uh, I wasn't paying attention. Yikes. No! Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is fine. So it's going to do four damage. It's going to take down these two. We'll still have the halberd beam online for this, which is needed. If I left it the other way, we'd lose the wrong weapons and not be able to contend here. We're still in a very sketchy spot, too. Please work. Thank you. So they do get an additional cloak here, but their piloting is now down. Okay, not weapons, please. Thank you for not hitting weapons again. That could have been an unmitigated disaster if I did not swap those weapons. Uh, piloting facilitates the charge of the FTL drive, and also having a pilot on there uh, is your evasion. As far as leveling up piloting, you get auto evasion with no pilot, but no FTL charge when there's no pilot. 
Okay, here we go. I will give you four fuel scrap, please. Hell yeah. They knew. They knew. Okay, it's not hacking. I should probably buy backup battery. Hmm. I don't know about that, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's a better chance for hacking to show up here. But delay is what we need. Oh, man. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hmm. All right. Go ahead and buy a repair to 23. And we are 100% purchasing three shields with our next 100 scrap. We now have eight projectiles on a 10 second timer plus Lado. So that's not, that's not insignificant, but it does not have hacking support right now. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. I'm almost certain this one connects. It's not over, it's over the line. It better be. Backup battery allows you to create two temporary power for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's definitely over the line. Backup battery is mostly just cheaper power. Okay, this guy is going to try to run from us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit his shields. Wow. Maybe not. Not what I want to do, but if he's gonna run, uh, we gotta we gotta have a contingency here. Okay, that went down a little bit late, but we're gonna dodge this. Just wait for it. Okay, forty-four scrap hull missile. I accept. Actually, does anybody know if we don't get a crew kill and we finish them off, do we get another weapon? There's not really much better than whole missile for selling, so... I don't see how we don't take this. Just curious, if we don't get a crew kill and we finish them off, do we still get a weapon? Because the last time we got a crew kill and then we got more scrap and a different weapon... I'm just wondering if the ship explodes if we get the same deal. Just a curiosity. You get a random weapon if you destroy the ship and no crew kill. Thanks. Hey, thank you, luck is real. Appreciate that. I think we're going to need a little luck on this run. Sure feels like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Let's have a little calm down about that, huh? That's a lot of, that's a lot of firepower, sir. That's what I wanted. I wanted to see that go down. Feeling better already. Black's probably next to come online. Let's go ahead and hit over here. No. Uh, no? It's a terrible offer. Um... So, I know I said I was going to buy three shields in the next hundred scrap, but I'm going to wait until the first jump of the next sector to see if there's stores. Your specialty reactor for 21. I think we're on 25 scrap upgrades, so this is a slight value. I agree. Oh, yeah. We saved four scrap there. Wow. Uh, Uncharted, Nebula, or Zoltan Controlled. I'm actually going to take Zoltan Controlled here. Alright, there's no store. So, I'm one scrap away from buying three shields. Okay. I get it. Okay. This is all, all about weapons all the time. Three shields even more imperative now because we're wasting power with this backup battery at the moment. Let's see how this first volley goes. A lot of misses there. Fireball light. Okay, good. Fire in here, gotta have it. Uh, that was a pretty high level hack. Ooh, it's still there? What the heck? Fair enough. Alright, definitely getting three shields now. It's happening. We did it. it. Only took to Sector 6 to make it happen, but, you know. We're there now. Um, no real bonus in doing any more nebulas. So let's go ahead and just hop to the Pulsar. On one good note for us, the Pulsar will be absorbed by our Zoltan shield, at least on the first one, giving us a better chance. I think we can just crush this one pretty good here. Nice, we took down the big laser before it fired. That's huge. All right, our Zoltan shield's even still active right now. Wild. Ooh, we still got it. That means the next uh, Pulsar will not take down our system. It's going to take that last bubble of the Zoltan shield. Fantastic. Okay. That is true. Flak generates three true projectiles and a bunch of phantom projectiles, so uh, you'll feel like you're missing more often, but you're not.
Uh, Zalebo, welcome to the Damper. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Much appreciation. Lost Deuce, 99 months. One more for that 100 club. And Kane Beer, thanks for 42. You got yourself the answer, my man. Okay, we're jumping. Whoa, hello, Scrap. Let's go. Yeah, thanks, Metatron. Let's change that right now. Look what I got. Boop. Somebody had to do it. It was me. I did it. Actually, if I roll two Zoltans into the shield room, we can become impervious to all of this ion damage. It's going to go ahead and try to hit shields here for that reason. We're not impervious to small bomb, but... If we do this, we overcharge our shield bubble, and we'll never have less than one shield. That is a bit of a yikes. It's tough for me to deal with. Yo, Canadian Bacon Strip, thanks for 36 months. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thanks so much for three years of support. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try not firing the Lado here. We do have a decent amount of resource, but it's very likely our first couple of volleys are good enough. Shields now. Yeah, if they're uh, if the enemy ship has their teleporter cooldown up, uh, they will teleport back when they get low on health. So that is an intended mechanic. It is a little bit silly, or it looks silly, but it's just um, make it easier on the player that you don't have these various boarding problems after the fight's over. Less cleanup time. I'm going to pass on Distress just to try to find the stores back here. Hacking would be a major improvement to this setup. I also have stuff to sell, so I'd love to see it. I don't have time for this nonsense. Attack! Okay, this ship does not have a weak setup above average. That's nice. Oh, 
Okay, Ion Bomb could be a problem. It missed, thank goodness. Still worried about that Ion Man. Good. I dare say we've gotten quite lucky on this run. Not in what's happening, but like what's happening in the ship events and stuff. I'm very fortunate not to have taken more damage at this point. Okay, there's a store. I also have 194 scraps. Let's get to it now. Hacking, please. Okay. Well. We're going to sell hold missile. We're going to sell combat drone. We're going to buy cloaking. I'm going to buy the fuel. I'm going to buy repair to 23. I'm going to buy a power bar for my cloaking. Now we can get 100% dodge under cloak and extend out this even longer. Hacking was the thing we wanted, but cloaking is the thing we probably deserved. Doesn't hurt. Great. I'm gonna go for a piloting next. Simplify my life. Very good. The Stress Asteroid Field is what? That is the Zoltan and Mantis event? That's right. I don't know how I feel about a double Asteroid event right now. I'm going to go one, two, maybe three, four, five, something like that. Let's look at our chance for the store down here by taking this route. No benefit in taking this one first. good. Go online, huh? Value point in drones. All right, now we're feeling safe. First they got that back online. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, 46. So this one has double speed asteroids. Um, we're going to interfere and save the Mantis. All right, they certainly do have a setup here. I wouldn't call it too scary. We hit weapons a couple times, we should be very good. Nice. That will definitely do it.
All right. So I'm gonna go here now and give ourselves a chance at a store here. Really getting down to the nitty gritty here. I've just not found subsystems. 190 scrap. What do? What do? We don't want to spend any yet. Hey, Shadow Fan 216, thank you for 74 months of support. Six years and climbing. I want to be a hero and attack the pirate, guys. Let's go. Debating what I fire for first here. I guess hitting weapons is rather safe. Let's go over here as well, though. Cool. Bottom cloak. We get two volleys on the next one. Kind of an impossible question there just to pick, since uh, difficulty is very subjective based on experience and time. I will say one of the main reasons I'm still playing FTL after so long is because the game continues to be challenging in a wide variety of ways. Destroy the ship and salvage it. Nice. Boy, the asteroid field. Awesome. Okay, big money stores, please. Uh, yeah, I'll trade non-scrap resource for scrap all day. Gotta be Zoltan controlled. Hey, store. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, who needs hacking when you have, um, three flak burst laser? I guess the point I was trying to make is I'm not rating the different experiences of the challenges I've tried versus each other. I just really like playing this game. All of the challenges I've done, including no pause, certainly have been difficult in their own ways, but it's not... Uh, not a struggle, it's just a something to do. He's going to go into sensors now. Okay, four shields, but I do have 11 projectiles right now. 11 projectiles. Right over here. What's going to happen on this fight is we're going to end up taking out uh, their drones. Ooh, weapons hack is brutal, man. Okay, it's only a level one hack, thank goodness. Okay, this is gonna get repaired and go off before I fire again, I think. Well, maybe not. Okay, good, we're getting drones down, beautiful.
Oh, there's the hack. I'll wait. Let's just wait for our full volley here, huh? Okay, here's the next store. We're going to take it right now, and then we're going to cut back this way and then come back over. Really only looking for one thing here, and that one thing is hacking. Oh, thank you. It took us all the way to Sector 7 to get it here. Thank you, game. Really only need level 1 hack at this point. Let's go ahead and buy fuel, maybe? How many jumps do we have before the this jump here? 3, 6... Seven, eight, so something like nine. I'm just gonna buy four fuel. That'll keep us nice and uh, cozy. Get 10 free fuel, 10 hull repair at the end of this sector. Pirate light cruiser. This volley is a big time slam a jamma. Let's go ahead and mind control the guy repairing weapons because we can. And they're going to cloak here in a moment. Oh boy. I'm feeling a lot better now. Without hacking, even with 11 projectiles, flagship is very um, RNG-laden. Not a complaint, just merely an observation about how it is. Okay, enemy FTL is charging. So I'm going to go for engines next. This will, this will be a takedown. Thirty scrap defense drone mark one. Well, we've already seen a second store here, so I don't think so. I don't think we have time to sell that. Yeah, probably not. All right, one sec. Hoodie's coming off. Probably, probably should get one more boopsin in though. One more. Boop. She's zonk for sure. That makes sense because she was hyperoni earlier. Mega hyperoni. Attack the Schlaver scum. I might even accept a crew as tribute here. I have no reason not to hack. I got 27 parts. But normally I'd be like mind controlling and trying to save parts and stuff here, but I mean. We didn't get hacking till Sector 7. What else are we going to use our parts on? Uh, um, no. No, I don't think so. if I want to do a pulsar right now, sir. Okay, well, this is going to strip our shield real fast. Uh, luckily, we're going to get their shield down real fast as well.
actually do this right here. I'm gonna mind control the guy repairing weapons. Oh, I took their piloting down too. They are, they're done. They're done. All right, a couple power bars sounds awesome. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this counts as one. It's actually five. That'll work. That'll work. Well, here's to hoping. Okay, what kind of drone they got here? Okay, beam two, same problem as last time. They also have defense too. Yikes. All right, see if we can sneak this. Is a very tough ship to sneak on. Good angle for us though. Okay, that's kind of all right. Hmm, yeah. Weapons just went down there. Let's go ahead and power our engine, because I could see myself running into a problem here. So I'm going to do this so we guaranteed one shield online. But the beam drum will not be a problem here. Let's see what happens. Okay, their weapons went down good. Very fortunate. Without having two Zoltans here, this could be a situation where you lose your run. Should us depower this until that goes off, and then we can repower it? Oh, cool. We do have cloaking available. Awesome. Weapons up. Okay, good. Ooh, that was uh, a little a little nastier than I was expecting. Gonna wait till we're completely free of ion damage to jump away from the pulsar. Pretty nasty hit. We gotta wait. Not quite. Oof, that's a big hit. Alright, here's our chance right here. We're gonna get out free of ion damage, I think. No, maybe not. There we go. Now we got it. Anytime you jump away from an ion storm or a pulsar without no ion damage, you're weakening yourself if there's a fight at the next event. Longer the game goes on, the harder it is to get away without ion damage. But if you wait, it will happen. Okay, here we go.
Okay. Oh yeah, you go up here. Go ahead and hack. Uh, we can't hack right now, right? Amazing we actually hit there. Wow. I'm impressed. happening no what's up oh, stiff dough and scrap my favorite do I have two piloting here I do let's secure the fuel supply sure Okay, they can't mind control me yet. Should also have a very efficient hit on their weapons here. Do it. Let's do it. Quality. nice hot dog gonzo the sock but thanks for 91 months thank you thank you okay we got asteroid field after this so we can't upgrade um after the asteroid field like i'm still gonna wait though i'm not feeling uh particularly threatened at the moment Not something you should ever say in FTL, though, because there's always a ship waiting for you that can kill you. Always. This one actually looks pretty gross. Mind control that this okay now we're jumping into a non-dive exit nebula there's going to be a ship fight here that we're just going to try to crush shouldn't be too bad okay they got triple missile launcher dude you consider not doing that people would like you more Nice. I think four shields and value points is where I'm at for the flagship fight. Though only four engines. Ooh, I don't know about that. To the last stand. Okay, I'm going to buy four shields. I like it. I'm going to buy the two power bars as well. And then I'm going to go for value points, level two backup battery with the remaining scrap, hopefully. 
However, before we do that, just going to stand up stretch real fast for the last stand about five hour mark here in the broadcast. Uh, hope you guys have a good break too. As a reminder, no ads during any break during the show. Just do one set at the very end. Please do enjoy these sleepy kitsies Boop. during our break. She is out, man. She is out. All right. Catch you guys in just a few short minutes for the last stand and finishing out this run. Hmm. Uh, secret user, before I stand up and answer your question, I usually don't uh, place the flax on the ship to be more synchronized, though there is an option to do so. Not necessarily a bad idea.
Alrighty, we have returned. And we're off. Let's go back into our run here. Sector 8. Uh, mean fellow, Slipstream Mod Manager is a requirement for modding FTL. Game came out long before uh, workshop support and stuff was available for games. All right, let's see what happens here. I want a bunch of value points and I want more engines too. So I'm probably not going to be able to afford everything I want here. Seems, uh, seems good. Ooh, outpost definitely helps. Intervening to defend the outpost means that we likely are going to get a double reward here. Anytime you see the word outpost, period, there's a double reward associated with the event. Very nice. 34 and 55. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, let's take a one-way ticket to Value Town right now. Let's get level 202. Let's get level 2 cloaking. Let's get level 2 hacking. I'm basically just trying to protect the systems right now, so if they take one damage, I don't lose access to them. Uh, mean fella, same thing with the, um, same thing with the FTL save editor. You can install the mods and then uninstall Java Oracle if you want to do it that way. So it's not really a malicious program or anything. If you do end up leaving uh, Java or Oracle installed on your PC, I highly recommend... Uh, turning off auto updates for it. It's more of an annoyance than anything. Hey, Oki Remax, thanks for 44 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Hell yeah. We blasted. All right, 59. Gonna keep chasing scrap here. Triple drone. Okay, what that tells us is that our, um, our shield's gonna be gone quite quickly. I'm just gonna cloak now. for this. There we go. Okay. So I can take Repair Station here, or I can take another fight. I think I'm going to take another fight, because the fight uh, has a higher potential to give us scrap. They'll both give scrap, but this should give more. And if it's a double reward, it could give over 100, so... I'm in. Hell yeah, Outpost. Love it. Love it. Outpost is going to be like at least 70 scrap here. At least.
Chunky monkey, that was a beautiful hit. Ooh, yeah, 114 scrap from a single event. Yes. Uh, do I double back and try to get the repair too? Maybe. We can go here first. Okay. So they're not technically at the base yet, so there's no... Well, maybe there is a downside to jumping away. Let's spin this scrap before I forget to do so. I'm going to buy a level 2 backup battery. This is going to be the cheapest power we can get right now. Um... Okay, so what's the power look like? This is what I'm going to be like on the fight. It's very likely I'm just going to do a piloting hack and try to slam shields real fast. Seems adequate. So I just want to buy engines. Double engine and... Oh, man. Well, the remaining option would be to buy sensors to try to give us a better time with the mind control and keep this guy on doors. Or try to get another engine after the next fight. I think I'm going to take sensors here. And we'll save for a moment. Okay. Phase one beginneth. Alright, so I'm actually going to go Burst Laser into um, Cloaking. Did not work the way I wanted. That's fine. It's fine. Um, let's mind control the guy repairing in here. I'm just going to let them cloak now, because what else can I do? Oh, that's a beautiful hack. Thank you for hacking my medbay. I appreciate it. I say, that guy's probably dead. Nice. Very clean phase one. Okay, we're going to jump to the repair station. Awesome. Okay, sweet. So we can get the engine with that. Love it. We want to fight them at the base, so we wanted to waste that jump anyways. Phase 2 should be very simplified compared to Phase 1. We have enough projectiles that just hitting here is... Ooh, this looks like a straight on. Ooh, that's tough. There was no way that was getting through. This will, though. Ooh, really? Okay, I take it back. Oh, yeah. All right, that's fine. Actually, don't care. Yeah, triple kill. Okay, we got fires there. That's fine. He may actually punch this time. I'm not even going to try to defend. I think we're just good. Got him. 
Got him. All right, phase three has mind control and boarding, but they can't do mind control or boarding until our Zoltan shield goes down. So that buys us some time, and I think we're going to be able to strip their Zoltan super shield, which is 12 points very fast with this. Well, I did delete the message. I will say, not a bad one to Guava. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Um. We either buy level two medbay or just get power bar here. I guess power bar makes sense, ish. All right, here we go. Phase three. Here we go. We dodging. Okay, we're gonna cloak right now. Perfection. That's trouble. Gonna mind control the guy in shields actually. <laughs> Alright, they ain't boarding. I probably shouldn't have mind control because now our piloting is, you know, offline, but it was fun. G G. That run was actually a real scraper. You can't tell by the end when we had the triple flak, but um, we didn't find hacking till Sector 7, and uh, it was a real struggle in the early game. We had one shield going into Sector 4. That definitely calls for some dapper time. All right. Feel free to throw out your uh, guesses on score there. I'm going to go ahead and say... Oh, man, what was the score on that one? I don't think it's over 6K, but we did get very early long-range scanners. I'm going to say 5,600, my guess. Yo, Das Geek, thanks for 10 months, dude. 5717, Das Geek, so the reset. Let's see what they got. 
6235. That's higher than I thought. Why? Because we had 104 beacons explored and we had over 2k scrap collected. Okay. Okay. Decent. All right, we're not doing another FTL run today, but I am going to random our next ship so we know what run 44 is going to be. We got Slug B, Mantis A, and Lanius B. Well, Lanius B is a power level above the rest. But let's do uh, let's do Slug B as our next run. Uh, Slug B is a very very sketchy ship no med bay no clone bay it does start with boarding we'll do a weaker class of ship uh, on this next run which will be 44. i like mantis a2 but i think this one's um well it's more of a challenge All right, we got one more stop on today's stream, and that is going to be uh, the Spelunky 2 Daily. There will be a prediction associated with this as well. Let me get the game loaded up here, and we'll uh, head on in. All right, let's pick our character for the daily. That character is going to be Jay, all the way Jay, my man, my daily dude. Yeah, a great guess, Dantel Marks, on that one. Great guess. All right, going to grab this penguin, then we're going to start our prediction. This is going to be a 10-minute timer on the prediction. If you'd like to wager some of your channel points, you can uh, choose to do so right now. Uh, question's very simple. Will this run make it to Cosmic Ocean or nah? I got a good feeling, but you never know on any one run of Spelunky what will happen uh, while this prediction is going off. And between the games, it's going to take a very short intermission myself, let you guys get your wagers in. We'll be back in just a moment to kick it off with the Spelunky 2 Daily as it resets. So this will definitely be a first look. I'm going to swap my title here, too, while I'm thinking about it. Here we go. Looking good. All right, guys, I'll catch you in just a minute for this Blunky 2 Daily.
Uh oh, I've made my gyms very grumpy. What do I do now? Thank you all for your patience during that brief one. We're at exactly uh, five minutes left in the prediction here. Uh, let's see where we're currently at halfway through your wagers. All right, there's 2.3 million channel points in the pool right now. 48% yes, 52 no. All right, all right. The odds look pretty good on both sides. I mean, good luck to everybody that wagers. I can never, I can never count it against anybody for... Um, bet no on a Spelunky run. All right, time for Penguin in the Hole. Let's review the rules. This tile right here, very good Penguin in the Hole. Right here, eh, okay. Right here, runs cursed. Here we go. Nice job, Jay. Corner pocket. So the only way I will not uh, give out points here is if we die before the timer's up. Good luck again to everybody. Four minutes left to get your wagers in. Yo, Mecha Nero, thanks for 18 months during uh, during the break. Cool emo combo, man. I like it. I like it a lot. That thing you're doing is good. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to use a rope here. I probably shouldn't, but... All right, three bombs for a rope. Three point two mil now. Oh man, I know what I know what happened there. Some smart people in chat waiting to see how penguin in the hole goes before they wager. That's cheating. Just kidding. Oh man, that dude just did it. He did it. All right, we don't only have a one-one turkey. We got a one-one uh, caveman turkey. That's spicy. All right, I'm gonna fix this in a second. I'll be back, Monty. Um, all right, I'm going to bomb on that side so we can walk out. Excuse me, sir. That's my dog. Excuse me. That's my pepperonis right there. He can live. He just wanted to pet the puppy. I get it. I get it. Animals are awesome. So glad I was not moving there. All right. Uh, power pack present. Presence 8K. What's in it? Can I pick it up? Can I shake it? I don't know, man. Kind of sounds like a boomerang in there. Hey, just just be honest with me for a second. Is it a boomerang in there? Huh? All right. Ho! Oh, all right, then. Present has a jetpack. It's a daily. Let's go. I'm turkey jetting out of here. There is the area. Yeah, that was definitely worth. Also point I had to collect every single cent to get that. Got him. Oh, that landing too. Jay, you're on with the throws today, dude. Awesome. I'll be back to collect my turkey. That's a scorpion. Hey, and good news, everybody has a jetpack in that crate, so... If you're looking to do a daily with a jetpack, this is a good one. Hmm. Like... Going on over here? Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hmm. 
Me and my lucky turkey are out of here. Alright, so this is Turkey Town. Okay, there's Yang. Um, I think since we're uh, doing the daily and it's going pretty well, we got jetpack, I'm gonna go ahead and rescue the turkeys. This can change up the seed on the jungle a little bit, like as far as how it generates, because Yang's a guaranteed store there, but it's all right. Oh. I think I see a ton shop, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, shop back here, too. All right, helping hand machete. Helping hand could be worth if there's a shrine on this level. Keep that in mind. Oh, hey, look what we have right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, and a turkey. This is awesome. We're getting cu cuppy cup right now. Oh, we sprunging. I don't need to do that. Hold up. Get up here, you stinky mole. Huh? Alright, this is money right here. This is like the most worst I've ever seen Yang's be, because we're getting the helping hand out of here, which is amazing. Uh, helping hands from Tun also come fully trained. They can sleep or be held for two minutes. Excuse me, sir. No, we are not. We are not taking any turkeys with us. That would be very, very maddening to Yang. All right, cuppy cup, get. Give me that juicy juice. You can see where this story's going. I'm going to put the torch down because... I don't want to light my jet back on fire. All right, dude, uh, just... If you, if you smell any roast turkey smells wafting, it wasn't me, all right? I'll take compass. Let's go. Dude, I am, like, broke right now. Oh, this is, like, super dangerous. Wow. Uh, that's a nope. Uh, no thanks. I do have um, somewhat of a plan here. I'm going to see if I can get him to unearth enough to possibly make us go jungle. I don't really want to trade out the jetpack right now. That'll do. That'll do. Bring it on, you oversized turkey. Yeah. That was pretty squishy. We got it. Alright, Scarabs, good start, good start. That's my nugget. Another scorpion? That is pretty cursed, dude. Alright, now we go around. I don't know, honestly, I just really want to go jungle this run, so I'm just gonna... Even if I don't have all the money I want, I'm going to do it. Maybe we'll forego uh, Hajit on this one and get Kingu that way. Almost had that toss. Guy's not even really dead. What a shame. What a shame. All right, that's where we're at. Let's go. 11 health? 11? But these got some juice. Jay, my man. Let's go. A 
Hell yeah. All right, well, um, I don't really want to use another rope, though I suppose we're guaranteed some ropes at the black market. Ah, that's interesting. I'm just going to go for this. I love a good mystery. Get off me. Okay, I'm going to do this as well. That's it. That's it. Two, two single bar gold. All right. You know, I want to say there's a shop over here. Let's just go ahead. Let's keep the mystery train going. What is this? Excuse me? Excuse me? Grab this paste on the way out. I was going to put this torch down because, well, I know better. <laughs> I'm going to use another bomb, all right? Sometimes it's just the right play. Very much hoping I don't get black market on the second level. 2 4 would be very much preferred right now. Okay, well, that's uh, that's one way to break it. Let's go. All right, easy, easy steal right here. right here, isn't it? Alright, sister's right there. Where was that blip blap? Oh, maybe this is not the sister. This is the key, isn't it? Nope. Um, what the hell? Okay. You can see where the black market entrance is, just to the right. Very close to this ghost turn. Oh man, how close though? Oh, it's like right there. Okay. That was a bad time waiting to happen. Whoa. Definitely not getting Hadjeet here. That's for sure. Bombs, ropes, love it. What else we got here? You want to buy this giant gold statue? Awesome. Skelly key. Okay, Skelly key lets us go back up top and get that other one. There's glasses. I would love those. T 
Time to buy out all the bombs. Okay. Okay, I do have this. How much time do I currently have? Two minutes. I can make two minutes work. There was a bear trap right there. I did not see that on the first pass at all. Well, GG, that is how the Spelunky Daily goes. That one legit surprised me. I would have popped that instantly had I seen it the first time. That was uh, obscured. Hey, <laughs> I'll take it. Looks like a couple other people also died to that bear trap. Well, congratulations, doubters. You did it. All right, we definitely have time for another one, just not uh, not the daily. So I'm going to head into the adventure here. We'll pick a new character. Um, go for some classic murder bot action. All right, so since we're headed right into another run, I'm going to start another prediction here at... Same thing. Will the run make it to Cosmic Ocean? Just going to go for a five-minute prediction here. You guys got five minutes to get your predictions in. I'm going to start that right now. I'm going to refill my water glass, and then we are going to kick off uh, one more run of Spelunky. This time, maybe we go all the way again. Huh? Be right back. Alrighty, let's kick it off once more. Final run. Penguin in the hole. Looking good. Looking good. Got three minutes left to put predictions in here. Three biggins. Hmm, I would like a torch. Thank you. This rock up here has to be lucky, right? Gotta be. All right. And we're off.
Okay. Well, I'll bomb on a rope right here to get that guy up to the shrine. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Bomb right here. Heard Hecky Borfman too. Hmm. If I get down to that from the other side, I should be able to use the snake to boost up to that box. Oh no, dude, you fell down. My bad. Hmm. Okay. I put the bomb right here. That works. I did that. My bad. I saw myself jumping over that arrow and it just didn't happen. 12 bombs. Hell yeah. Nice one. Well, sorry, Mr. Turkey. That's how she goes. I'm strongly debating here if I should use uh, another rope. Also, is it possible I can you do get one rope here to get all the way up? I don't think we can. I think it's two ropes to get the turkey up there or nothing. I'm going to pass. I, I like ropes. Ropes are good. Get out of here, you stinky mole. Now, though, I can get this mole up there. That's true. Oh, get out of here, you stinky mole. All right, we got ropes. Let's go. I got 30 seconds here. It's all right. going up. Alright, we got sprong shoes. That's excellent. So that about halves the amount of roast we need to use, so that's a lot of pressure off. Listen here, you stinky mole. You better believe you're getting sacrificed, too. Not using three ropes not to get that mole in the shrine, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's where that was. Let's go. Well, at least we got halfway with Kali there. That was nice. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that is sketchy. Oh, wait. I don't know. This is an interesting thing. Uh... I really want to know what that crate is. The cost, though. Too high. Oh, I got a stupid idea. Let's go. I did that to myself. Or right, we've not seen the key yet. Let's do this. That's right. Three ropes for one rope and a lot of work. Hmm. free, Percy.
Oh no. Percy, here's the thing. You're gonna get punched in the face. Nobody wants that. Hmm. A couple more arrow traps be cool, huh? Oh yeah, good. There's another one. Thanks, game. Always looking out. sketch, but the resources look awesome. Yes, I will take one hammy, please. right there. Ooh, that's not gonna work. It worked perfectly. Don't listen to me. Let's go get this paste right now. What is this run, man? Very, very cool start. Compass 2? Wow. Okay, should be able to push this off the edge to gain access to this side. Yep. We're going in. I know there's at least Ghost Pot over there. At least. Oh, hey, Nirosham, I need to change my title back now that we're not on the daily. But first look means we're just one of the first people to attempt the daily, which we were. Just a little more work here. Just a little more. That. we go. Alright, 46,000 on 2-1 is pretty cool. I don't trust this guy. Take a nap, please. Big old Spoodamans. I think I'm good. This is the third jungle first level in a row that's had this key going on. It's not a guarantee. Happy to see it. Camera in the wall. Okay. I see uh, the dudes woken up. Boy, I don't think I want you over here, man. That works.
Hmm. Okay, I'll use a bomb then. All right. And we're off. What a level. 26 8. Very nice gain. Somebody got smushy smushed. I heard it. Oh! Murder bot on point. Alright, this is our black market level. We know that because there's two arrows right now. Oh, snap. Okay. <sighs> that's, that's too bad. All good. In here. Okay, not sister. Uh, there is a crate in there, all right. Kalima, hello. We should definitely be able to get Kapala here. I figure where the black market is first. I see where the sister is. Rob down. It's got to be down here. There it is. Okay, cool. What a level. Aha! I'll be back. Grab this clover before I forget. Since we're not on the daily, we also have a helping hand uh, in this level top right. That's a jetty. Let's strap that on. Let's go. Looking good. That Matic could be an interesting project for this level. Okay, I'm gonna buy those. I'm gonna buy Little Feller. Clover extends the timer from three minutes to five minutes. Okay, revenge on that one, huh? Forty six, looking good. Big money, Kali Ma, right there. Let's go. It's one of my favorite games to watch as well, Atomic Mutant. Splunky 2's got a very awesome quality about it. Grab these, gonna grab this. Made it out in style there.
Okay, that's fair. I am going to grab this ghost urn too, just because um, it's been all of our money in the black market. Let's go. Yo, Zagan, thank you so much for 86 months. The monumental show of support. Consecutive as well. And Hummerbug, thanks for 28. Glad you could be here tonight. Well, that's really nice of them. Making that one nice and easy to get. Collect all three sisters, we get 12 bombs, which I do want. Wow, that's a tough day. Okay, here we go. Well, the challenge was over here, too. Sorry about that dead guy in front of your shop. Here, let me take care of that for you. Let's go. Ropes. Okay, there is the bow. Bow is always going to be below the halfway point on the map. That's how you know where to find it. That's how you can always get it for one matic or less. Oh, this looks cool. We had five boxes spawned down here the other day. There's three. Man, with Hajit and glasses, you can see so good in the dark. Okay, went in low on this one. Oh, we got all the crates. There's another one of those things. Guess what? This guy's going to wake up. He's going to be real mad. Ooh. What happened there? Hold up. Hold up. So, did that happen because he was still under the influence of iframes? Or did that eat its own gold nugget with the way he fell on there? That was weird. I've never seen something land on a bear trap and not be crushed. Most peculiar. All right, I'm good with that. Let's go. Yeah, Gary, the Hanji gives a uh, much better night vision, and the Royal Crown gives uh, discount in shops. It's the functional difference between the two. Both allow you to pull the sword from the stone, though, which is the important part, as far as the chain is concerned. Alright, that's a nope. I'm just gonna hope that the sister is not in that top corner. Keep exploring. There she is. Ooh. shop in here? Nope. Well, let's go. Huh? All right, here we go. Going in. 
Uh, where Merkel, they actually just posted on Steam if you want more information on their um, current dev plan for Nova Drift. They also have a very, uh, very active Discord where they discuss development stuff and always post it there as well if you're looking for the beat on that. Yo, Caravan Dragon, thanks so much for six awesome months. Appreciate that half year. Thank you. Hold on, I gotta pause the game because... Toby, next. Gotta touch it. Dude, she is zonked. She went, like, ultra hyper today. Went super hard all day. And now is officially done until probably about when we're about to go to bed. And then she'll be right back at it. Okay. No crates up here. I think you guys know what type of time it is right now. It's time for Olmec in the hole. I win jungle, I earn my bombs, I'm going to squander them the way I want to. Oh, yeah. Nice 12 bombs right there. That's how it's done. Now we're going to take that Olmec. We're going to put that Olmec right into the hole. Right, right straight down. Beautiful. Dropping the bow off with Waddler here. That's the first step. See you again in the Sunken Temple, I hope. Be really careful with those octopi. They can really mess you up. How do I want to do this? I'm going to crawl off the ledge, actually. Okay, that's some crabs. Also behind Madam Tusk. I guess we're just going to run through. But why more crabs? Even more? Stop it. Debating holding on to the pickaxe, I don't really think I will. I'll probably take it to the next level. But with this many bombs...
Okay, that was a pretty cool level. Let's go to the next one. Oh, dark level. Well, I got Hadji and glasses, so it's basically like I'm carrying a torch around with me at all times. Okay. Saw a bear trap down there. Where is this uh, kitty cat? Right there. Hey, yeah, come a little closer. You can hit me with those bubbles if you just move a little closer. Great job. Hey, we do our do our best. Truly prideful. Before uh, the all sixes and ones thing was discovered on the gambling, you had to be real quick to get to Madam Tusks. Even then, it was a struggle sometimes. You won. Do that. I'm gonna put this down right here. All right, where is Humphead right now? That is so many fish. I don't, I don't want that. Hold on, hold on. I gotta clean up this lake if the Helping Hand's gonna survive, man. Like he's, he's not, he's not a bright feller, but he tries his best. Go. Fine. Fine. Okay. We have cleaned the lake. Of course you went right for the urn. Why wouldn't you, buddy? There's a there's a priceless sword right there. Just for you. All right, now we're looking for a spot to hide him where he can't escape. Which I don't have long to find. Okay, well, it's not that. Uh, that looks like it might work. Oh, no. No, no. Ooh, I'm really happy to see this guy. That's nice. Give, uh, give Clover. Hey, take a little nappy nap. You're poisoned, sir. Sir? Very well, then. I will do it myself. I see you're still alive, sir. Well, here's the thing. No, you put that down. You're doing great. You're doing great. For pillars here, we want two pillars that are separated. Do not have gold or gem in them, so there's only one spot for that, and that's right here. That's a little bit sketchy. Also, arrow trap right there. Okay.
that should about fix it. Oh no. GG. I believe our jetpack also exploded. Very well then. That's how it be. Not sure exactly what bungled that, to be honest. I feel like I placed the bombs right. Maybe the door was underneath where I bombed. No, that's not the case either. All right, we're going to go big risk here. I'm going to try to get the clone gun uh, a little further in. Okay. Uh, that's a bummer. Whoopsie doozle. Oh, snap, I missed. All right. Is this jump even possible? No. I'm going to go around. Gotta go over the other side, I don't have the tools there. And I could use like three ropes, but and check for crates while we're over here. Nope. It ain't gonna be much more here. I think I am short two bombs. Yep, that was it. Two bombs. Alright, let's see what our tablet is. Tall clay bat. Tall clay bat. Let's not accidentally destroy the shrine here. That's exactly how we accidentally destroy the shrine. Okay. Where's my man Waddles? Up and to the left. Gotcha. Oh, that was close. Right here. Uh, the tablet lets us know which urn to pick inside the urn room on 6-2. It's the last part of the uh, chain to get above Sunken Temple the normal way. That's tough, dude. Yeah, alright. I'll use, um... I'll use a bomb, then.
It's a very interesting spot for a crate. More bombs. Miss? Dang it. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be some work. I'm going to do it, though. Huh. Or I guess this is two ropes now. Usually have some sort of back equipment being in here. Not today. Give me that juicy juice. Uh, you can't carry bodies through doors, rest cure. That's why we're not sacrificing. All right, there's that. So, we're going to take the long trip back up. Got climbing gloves, so it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that cheesy lava elevator thing going on over there. Not cool. seems definitely worth just bombing. Yeah, I love climbing gloves. I had uh, I had some apprehension about climbing gloves when I first started playing Splunky HD, but I got a lot better at the game when I just accepted climbing gloves. And they are much improved in Splunky 2, just as far as control goes. They allow you to do so many different things. Tall clay something. What do we got here? Tall clay bat. That's the one. Tall white urn with a bat on it. There it is. Huh. That looks like we're going to be using a bomb then. Let's go. All right, I'm going to get caught up here. Jonah997, thanks for 19 months. Strange but not a stranger. Thanks for 73. And Agita Stormy, thanks for 49 months. One more for a half century. Thank you.
that a UFO over here? No, it was a drone. Chilin can hang out over here. Let's go. Gonna grab this 8 HP. Let's nice. Ate the whole banquet. Delicious. Ooga. Yeah, that's exactly how I look at gloves when I have jetpack too. It's a redundancy for if you lose the jetpack. Hmm. Let's do this. Yikes. The hell? Okay. What is happening? I see. What an exit. Uh, I think the two items I have undiscovered are the Tusk Idol and the True Crown. I really don't play games for completion marks, so maybe I'll get those one day. Not a pressing matter for me. Let's go ahead and get this juice, though. Hey, watch out, Tun. Saved you. Shrine here. Since we brought Clone Gun, uh, I'm very interested in if the Sun Challenge is on the first level here. It's kind of feeling like no, but I don't know that yet. Okay, now we kind of do. Okay, there's no Sun Challenge here. Okay, in that case, we should probably try to work to get health with the Clone Gun. I hear you, Squeakers. Where you at? Um, I'm just going to wait for that. I'm not sure which order those broken. And I've certainly been crushed before. It's not a great feeling. Okay, you're right there. Not bad. time to get the mom statue here too
Okay. Hello. Thank you, Tun. No time to chat. I gotta get the heck out of here. Pretty awesome find right there. Oh no. Okay, we're good. go all right that's uh that's not cool that's a biggie boy okay yeah saw that coming let's take the time to clean it up Let's go. Yeah, how much does that jetpack cost from Tun? Anybody catch that? I have no idea how much a jetpack costs in uh, Sunken Temple from her. I think it's like 40k from a shopkeep. Fifty four K, okay, so more than forty eight. Hey, I didn't do that, alright? That wasn't me. I mean I'll take responsibility where I can, but that just wasn't me. One more level. Yo, Nighthawk seventy two ninety three, thanks for forty seven months. One more for four years. Thank you. Broke those frogs' ankles, man. to the top. We got two more things to look out for. Sticky glob things and poison arrow traps. Howdy down there. Like, I want to draw a boss here, but I also want to make very sure we're good. Don't want to waste any bombs. I want to kill one with bombs and one with the spike shoes. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, perfect schism. Thanks for 35 months. One more for three years.
Okay. Yo, we did it. We made it all the way to Cosmic Ocean. Gonna choose a prediction outcome right now. Wow, 72% yes. Congratulations, believers. Okay. Well. Listen here, fella. All right, after that uh, journey there, if we survive this level, I'm going to take a short break afterwards and start another prediction for how far we're going to make it here in Cosmic Ocean. No onk, no backup, but I got a good feeling right now. Not very many resources either, but who needs those? Okay, there's a box. Okay, there is the exit here. Oh boy, um, no. Nice job, little Pingu. everybody before we go any further here into cosmic ocean going to start a prediction right now uh predictions and be very simple um will this run make it to 733 the 33rd level of the cosmic ocean uh, five minute prediction timer uh, good luck to all those that wager uh after uh that pretty intense run and before we actually get into the meat and potatoes of cosmic ocean I'm just gonna stand up stretch real fast uh fill up my water encourage you to do those same things please do enjoy this sleepy kitsu uh on the screen who's been sleeping all stream right there one tired kitty be back in just a moment to kick off the fun as a reminder no ads during any break during the show just do my own set at the very end Thanks for your patience during this brief one.
All right, we back, we back. We're going to head into the Cosmic Ocean now. Let me check this prediction before I kick it off here. I'm going to focus because I'm going to try and make it 733 and beyond. Oh, over 2.1 million points in the pool. About even, 56 yes, 44 no. Uh, minute 30 left to get your predictions in. Guess we'll see. 733 or bust. D. Lartanos, thanks for 17 months. One more for that year and a half. Thank you. All right, that's a little spicy. I always worry on the temple that I'm just going to get hit by some sort of poison spit. She she got hit by poison spit. That happened. Another one down there? Hmm. Why? Okay. Well, I know I have one up top. Uh, there is a crush block right here. I really can't afford to be using a lot of bombs on temple levels. It's a tough situation to be in, but let's be a little more careful. Okay, this level's not too big, but I don't think we have any time trouble here. Okay, exit has to be on the other side here. Uh, go over here real slow. Oh, hey there, poison spittle guy. Exit's not even here. What the heck? There it is. Okay. See, it's on the top. Very interesting. Oh. Okay. Is that going to trap that in the middle? <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. I understand, game. You're right. I did do that to myself. You're right. Hey, TJ Colts fan, thanks for two months. Appreciate that continuation. Thanks a lot. Are we basically forced to use a bomb here? I can, um, I can get around that, but let's go out this way. I'm not using a bomb if I don't need to. Okay, that body is in the inter-level barrier. We're going to let that churn around a few times. Okay, I think I see orb right above the exit. Okay. Okay, this puts the third orb on the right-hand side. Oh, we've already been here. Maybe that is the last orb. Has to be. That's number three, then. Okay. Let's see what the entrance this looks like. Not too bad. It's on the top. Uh, there is poison spit coming over the edge. Okay. Uh, where is that going to be shot from? Bottom right. I'm just going to do this real quick. Not really smart, but it's what I'm doing. There it is. That's at least one of the poison spits down. There's another one. Okay, no. Oh, no, I'm dead. Not dead. Whoo! As nearly dead as you can get without dying. That's real dead, though. Amazing. Oh, okay, that thwomp's going around permanently. So I set that off going upward, and it had no... Um, 
nowhere to go. A very spelunky moment. Uh, congratulations, doubters. Two for the doubters today, one for the believers. That's how it be. Fun run. If we had gotten the clone bag on 7-1, I would approach those temple levels a lot differently. There's a lot of bombs going on, but you know, sometimes it's just how it is. Oh, you can pet the kitty. How wonderful. That's what my face looks like when I pet a cat every time. I love petting cats. So good. Well, all right, everybody, that's going to conclude today's broadcast. Thank you for the awesome times of the double uh, FTL runs and those couple runs of Spelunky, too. Appreciate the great time. Wonderful company and awesome conversation throughout. I'll be back in at it tomorrow around noon Pacific to do it up once again. Until then, keep it damper and be good to each other. Uh, as a reminder, going to run three minutes worth of ads here on the way out. The only ads I've played for my entire broadcast. You let those play. Thanks so much for the support. If not, thank you again for the time you chose to spend here. Uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it already. Enjoy the Sleepy Kitty on the outro as well. Uh, appreciate you all. Thanks for sharing this time and place.